Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 8 of my Minecraft Let's Play like it's 2010 again. I fixed the wool on the windmill. Thank you very much. Otherwise, without you guys, I wouldn't be fixing anything. I mean, let's be honest. I, I, I somehow missed it. <laughs> I don't know how because usually I'm pretty, you know, I'm, I'm pretty detail oriented. <laughs> Maybe not. The wedding went very well. That was an amazing weekend. I have recovered. It is now Tuesday as I'm recording this. I was not feeling great Monday. The wedding was on... Um... <laughs> I can't remember it on Saturday or Sunday. It was a fun weekend. We'll put it that way. But everything's good now. We're, we're doing great. The man is married. Congratulations. He doesn't watch my videos, but... Congratulations, vibes out. Anyways, okay, guys. Yeah, my best friend got married last weekend. That's or, yeah. So that's why I'm talking about it. Anyways, we got a lot to do today. Okay, we need to wait for the wheat to grow. Uh, wait, 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 no, we don't. We don't need wheat to enchant. Yes, you heard it right. We're going to enchant today. I do have 56 levels, so I did leave it AFK overnight at my uh, my mob farm, and then I killed all the mobs when I woke up. I got 56 levels, which is awesome. I did go back and plant as many times as I could all the wheat that I could. You can see we don't have quite all of it filled up, but um, uh, we have enough filled up. Um, I don't want to like, you know, go through a bunch of stuff up here as far as like, you know, showing you, oh, well, I have X number of cows, but the number of cows that we have, guys, you notice how my game starts lagging up here. It looks like we have about a thousand cows or so. Now you're like, Neo, this, this doesn't really look that much different, but wait until we crest cow hill that's what i'm calling this so we're in the cbc sog the cherry blossom cow sanctuary of greatness greatness uh you're gonna have to you're gonna have to bear with me i'm st <laughs> um but <laughs> once we crest over cow hill you can see there's a few cows i don't know how it turned out that all the cows came to one spot but they did um i think it's again because when i kind of breed them i like walk in this direction and uh well, oh, still getting some XP. Let's go. Nice. Look how many cows there are. <laughs> I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? A lot of them are still babies, you know, so I, I don't want to, you know, get any leather yet. I tried to bring some down there even, but like, yes, I think, <laughs> I think we have enough leather to go ahead and enchant. It's like, I don't want to, I don't want to kill them because... If I leave them like this, right, and I keep every time I breed them, I'm gonna like basically get 50% more than the population, you know, because it takes two cows to make a small cow. So if you have a thousand and you breed them all, then you get 500 more, 50% more. And so it's kind of an exponential thing. So I want, I, I don't want to kill them quite yet. We need to do a few things. So last week we built the windmill, looks beautiful. We also built the wheat farm, looks beautiful too. Um, there's a few things, right? Like this village is completely unprotected. It, there's, there's a village over there. If you can't tell, I'll go over there and uh, talk. But yes, we need to protect the village because that's where we're going to like trade and, and, you know, get enchants and, and stuff like that. Um, but to do that, we're going to need to protect it. Well, I'm making the rule. We have to protect it. So we can't do anything with these guys until we protect them. Now, hopefully the villagers aren't all dead because I've been AFKing in this area a lot. Like, I mean, a lot. And so I don't know the stat. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I don't know the status of this village. If uh, the zombies have got to them yet or not. Last time I saw them, there are a bunch hanging out down here. Okay, they're still down here. Do you guys like not? I feel like last time I was here, this is where you guys were at. What, what are you? Curse of binding. That's great. Um, so there's still a lot of villagers, which is good. But we're going to build like a little wall around this. It's not going to be anything super fancy. We'll terraform the inside and make it look nice and pretty. Uh, we may end up upgrading the villager buildings at some point. I don't know about now, but if anything, converting them to be cherry wood would just be great. Um, I think, you know, we could do that fairly easily. We could use, you know, calcite or diorite, whatever the... Either one of the white stones, like the lighter colored stones, uh, in place of cobblestone. And then just redo the whole thing with cherry wood and just make it look nat natural, but cherry wood-ish, if that makes sense. Okay. And then another thing is my cherry tree farm is great and all, but it's, it's, it's a little too small. If I'm completely honest, I don't get enough cherry wood when I'm, when I'm mining it. Um, I love it and I think it's beautiful. We have the little cherry valley, but eh, it's not the greatest thing in the world. So <laughs> it, 
to bring all of this around, what I need to do in this episode is a few things. I'm not saying we're going to get to all that stuff in one episode, but we need to enchant our tools. Um, I want to build the moat. Only thing we're really waiting on is the cows to grow up, so I may want to change my simulation distance up to be like 32 chunks and then have it render 32 chunks and then have my entity distance at like 500%. Now this may lag me pretty bad. That's why, yeah, see, it's like a little choppy. You see that? I don't know why, but probably because I'm rendering in all those cows at once. It's real laggy when you look over there. You look over here, it's still a little laggy. So I'm just gonna switch back to where, you know, we can't steal those cows and it's not laggy. So we're gonna build a moat. That's one thing we just did not end up doing that we should have done like a long time ago. How this moat is gonna go, I do not know. Um, the thing is, is that you don't really need one on this side. I never really terraformed this exactly how I wanted to. So I should probably get into that. The reason I wanted to enchant before I did any of this was so that I could have like super fast tools because that just makes your job so much easier. Uh, we need to mine like, we really don't have that much stuff. Let me sleep and let me show you a resource chest. It's uh, it's looking a little bit barren. Let me waft my way over here and uh, show off our impoverished resources. We have 21 iron. We do have a good amount of diamonds. 18 diamonds, nothing to snuff at, but we don't really have a whole lot. I mean, coal, like eh, a little bit, but I'm not super happy with it. And you can see we have a lot of goals in here. You know, protect the villagers, a big one. Retrieve the kitty. That is something I completely forgot about. Um, you guys named the kitty, but I had completely forgot about it. Um, now, a few of you gave names for the dog. I'm going to go back to that episode now, and we're going to see what name is the winner. And we'll say their username. Okay, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I just went through the videos that I thought I asked for the dog's name. I went through like three of the episodes, which I know it had to be within those. I didn't see a single comment. I didn't scroll through all like 700 comments on each one. I scrolled through a couple hundred on each one. So you guys name the dog right now. Put it in the comments. I want all the people, even the people who don't normally comment, you need to name this pupper. And if you win, I'll give you a little shout out. I'll say thank you to blank for the dog's name. Okay, go. Put your comment in now. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. What? I'm, just, I'm not going to count, but look at him. He needs a name. Pause the video. Go put a name. Thank you. Okay. All right. So... Let's build an area for the enchantment table. I don't know exactly what to do for it, but I have somewhat of an idea, I think. Let me let me make sure. I'm like sitting here thinking and this guy's just chilling. Like what, where you come from, dude? Get out of here with that crappy armor. I don't want that. I got stacks and stacks and stacks of that stuff. I'm trying to think if I want to make it in like a floating thing or I want to make a wizard tower. I feel like since we already have that tower, making a wizard tower, I don't know, I want to do something different. Because we have this nice flat area over here. I think what I need to do is I need to get enchanted tools so that I can build what I actually want to build for the enchantment table. Because the things I want to make, I think, are a little bit too overzealous. Like, you know, before we have efficiency. Because I want to make like a big like crystal, a crystal like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, okay? I don't know how to explain it. Let's just make a bunch of paper. I don't know exactly how much we're gonna need. Okay, that should be good. We'll use this chest to craft it. And then I believe it's three pieces of paper for every one leather. So how many stacks of leather do we need? Um, and then we'll go ahead. Oh yeah, this will actually be perfect. So we need one, two, three. One, two, wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need six stacks of leather. Okay. It's going to be painful. You know, we gave these cows a sanctuary, and now we have to take a few out. Um, it is what it is. I mean, that's why you farm animals, I guess. So you can use their resources for good. And plus, we'll finally have steak instead of eating uh, bread. Now, if I had looting three, that would be great, but I don't have looting three. Okay. Now, I don't know if I'll get all six stacks of leather right now, because if we did get looting, we could kill much fewer cows and get a lot more leather. So let's just go with two stacks of leather for now. Oh, man. <laughs> it ain't pretty, but it's necessary. It ain't pretty, but it's necessary. It is a lot easier, I feel, if you just kind of 
do it as quickly as possible and use an axe rather than, you know, like, come here, like that, you know, it's feel, it's some, for some reason it feels more, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be giggling while killing them. Wow, dude, you don't get that much leather. Like at all. You get a lot more steak. I kind of forgot that. Should probably go thin them out where they're overpopulated. <laughs> just a little bit. This still cracks me up. This just this one, this one little uh, hill over here. There's just thousands. I don't know why. I, someone did send me a video on YouTube, and I watched a little bit of it. They were ex they were said this might explain why cows kind of move the way they do, or you know, passive entities like these. And I kind of, I kind of understood it, but like, I, I guess they, they want to find, it has something to do with elevation and it also has something to do with like, oh no, not the sheep, not the sheep. Come here. I'm very sorry. Wow. This is like not nearly as much leather. As I thought I'd get, if I'm completely honest with you. Thought we would get more leather than this. We have 48. I'll keep killing them until I have two stacks. Okay, I, I think that's good for now. Uh, you know, we killed a good bit, but, you know, looking at this, I don't really think we actually thinned it out too much. Um,. So, I, I guess, technically, since you only need 15 bookshelves, I think you need around 15. So, each one takes three books, which is three pieces of leather. So, I really only need 45 pieces of leather. And, uh, you know, obviously, I want to make, like, a big extravagant thing. But I need to have efficiency on a pickaxe, at least. If it, like, efficiency on a shovel and a pickaxe would be the dream. Now, I'm not sure how you know, our probabilities are going to work. Um, and I only want to have an enchantment table right where, like, I don't want to have one in my house and then a cool looking one, because then I'll never end up using, like, the cool looking one. So I want to make sure that we kind of make that a priority. Now, I want to use a lot of bamboo, a lot of cherry blossom stuff. There are ways you can make automatic cherry blossom farms. We would need a creeper farm. Uh, we don't have a creeper farm. Can we make one? Sure. Uh, but you're best to build those over the ocean. And, uh, well, I don't really have an ocean super close to me. Uh, or I do, but like, I don't really, I don't know. I need to build a mine car out there, which means I need to go mining. And I feel like if I mine at this point without fortune, then I'm like losing materials. So I, I don't know. I want to have a mine cart that goes down to there. I want to do a whole network of them. That's why I'm trying to avoid the elytra. So let's go ahead and smoke a little bit of, smoke a little bit of steak. Everyone likes smoked steak. I don't actually think anyone really smokes steak, but you know what? It is what it is. People smoke things like, you know, brisket or, or short ribs or, or something, but I feel like smoked steak would not be the best food in the world. Uh, I guess we just have a little bit. Okay. Put up the rest of the coal. I feel bad for that sheep, man. We did not mean to. Or I did not mean to. Oh, the paper is still over here. Let me go grab the paper, and then I will come back when we're ready to start building the chip table. So all the wood we have is right here. We don't have that much wood, which uh, might lend to be an issue, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and make all the books we can make. Okay. Nice. Very, very nice. And then all the bookshelves we can make. 27. Okay. A formidable amount. Not uh, as much as I need, but it is a lot. Uh, oh, you want to know an issue? I don't have enough iron to make an anvil. We don't necessarily need an anvil, but, like, we're going to want an anvil. Do we have any iron somehow? No, we don't. I think I already did that once, and I was like, I bet there's some in here. Nope. We did a little bit of wood I forgot about. Um, I know we need a grindstone. I can't remember how to craft one. I'm pretty sure it's, like, just a piece of stone with, like, some sticks. I feel like. I don't know exactly. Let me. I have to look up the recipe every time. I mean, will it tell me? Like, uh, oh, not craft, grind. It's one of those recipes where, like, unless you've crafted the materials for it, it won't show you, which I guess is technically all the recipes, but, like, I feel like some of them show no matter what. But I'm almost certain that I need to... See, because no new recipes appeared. 
Hmm. Grindstone. See, I want to say it's like... I want to say it's like something like this. But maybe it's like with a slab. Okay, new recipes. Yeah, there we go. Grindstone. It appeared! Look at the top right! It appeared! And then look, it's not in here. Isn't that so weird? You guys saw that appear, right? Oh, because you need some planks. Aha, so it's this, this. See, for a lot of you on Bedrock, you're like, dude, I don't care. Like, I don't I don't use, like, the crafting menu. But for an old school Java player, you know, <laughs> one of the OGs. You know, I like to use the old school stuff, okay? I'm a little, I'm a little old school. I'm not afraid to say it. We have the bookshelves. We need the actual enchantment table, which means we need... Oh, wow, it's actually perfect. Um, I guess we just need one. It is okay. Boom, boom, boom. Enchantment table. Okay. And then I'm obviously going to want two fresh tools. I don't actually know. I might end up wanting more. Depending on how many levels it takes to get what we want, may want to do two. I would. It would be really nice to be able to get an axe. That's good, too. Okay, like I said, this is completely temporary. We're not gonna like keep this. I, I wanna have an actual area to do it. Um, obviously, we're not gonna just put an enchantment table down in here. And we won't get silk touch, which means these books might be a somewhat hard to get back. Okay, I'm gonna grab some lapis. I'm kinda nervous, cause sometimes the enchants are bad and like I don't really have the time to record today if I have to wait for you know, like, a couple hours to get more XP. So let's hope this is good. I mean, honestly, I wanted efficiency, like, more than anything. That is absolutely terrible. Those are honestly some of the worst enchants I think I've ever gotten. That's, uh, we're... Like, I'm not gonna say no to Fortune 3, but Fortune 3 on, a, on an axe? Oh, you silly goose. Oh, you silly goose. You're not going to do that to me. You're going to do that to me. Uh, just efficiency four. Just efficiency four. Nothing else. You're going to do that to me. And then she gives me a good one. Efficiency four. I'm breaking three, forge, and three. That is literally the best you can get. I need a shovel more than anything. Bro. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. We have two more enchants to get for this shovel. We have two more that we need, or that we can even do. Efficiency four silk touch, I will not not take it, but you wanna know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if maybe we can roll a better one and I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble one diamond on it. I think, I think we can do better. Efficiency three, I just want the unbreaking from that. I just want the unbreaking for that, but we don't have an anvil. Okay, so we we finally have tools that do not suck. That is honestly pretty good. I like the silk touch so we can get some grass. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put up the old dilapidated tools. Um, yeah, we can, you know, we got a little bit of extra XP. Might as well see what we can. This might one. I mean, hey, it's a little bonus. It's something, right? Uh, I wasn't planning on enchanting it anyway, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Let me just get everything nice and sorted. We're going to go do a few things before we get the ball rolling on the rest of today. Um, so, yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, didn't go in there. Okay, so first things first. Steak. Steak, steak, steak. Get out of here, bread. Nobody loves you. Steak is my favorite person. Um, a few things. We do have really good efficiency for. I want to go iron mining, and I don't want to iron mine the traditional way. I wanted to show you guys a few things that are in this world that look absolutely beautiful. One of them is over yonder. Um, I want to. I probably. I probably before I get too far, I'm just gonna go back and grab a bed because things can get a little sticky. Just, just, just a wee bit sticky if I uh, don't bring a bed. I don't like I don't like being awake at night and being surrounded by creepers. It's it's not great. Not that we lose you know a whole lot. We lose the enchanted tools. That's uh, you know whatever. I can get those back. But some of these things, I just got. They're nice and fresh. Everything has the enchant glint on it. My armor is a little worse for wear. 
Oh, maybe we'll do a little bit of mining this episode, but it's way off in the distance. No, it's not that village. We've already been there. Um, so I'm going to make the journey over there. There's nothing interesting until I get to a certain point. So I'll come back when that is the case. I'm going to be uh, completely real with you guys. I think I got lost because I see off in the distance a mangrove swamp. <laughs> I did not find that. That's not what I was trying to show you. And I'm kind of concerned that I somehow missed that. I somehow missed what I was trying to show you guys, but this is almost a little bit better. Did I? Did I guess I? I guess no. I kind of ran off that way. I missed a mangrove swamp. Okay, well we have to go check that out. Um, again, I'm I'm here to try to get some iron so we can make an anvil and get this shovel to have efficiency four and unbreaking three. That's kind of the oh oh it's so nice, it's so nice. I don't even remember what does this axe have. Okay, so not not the greatest stuff. I'm pretty sure I don't know if you can put sharpness on axes or not. That would be very nice, but I have a feeling you can't, but we'll see. We shall see, because they're very good weapons. I know for the longest time I didn't use them, and I advocated against them a little bit, okay? And I didn't like using them, but... Oh, oh it's so nice to have you back, Efficiency. Oh my gosh. And that was just like two coal... 43 coal from just like a few coal ore blocks. That's what I miss the most. That is awesome so we need to try to find some iron it's a little tricky i was gonna go show you some cool mountains with a big old like hole or something i i don't quite know but it was really cool but i don't know where it is i guess we've lost it i mean this is a pretty cool uh a pretty cool looking cave i mean it, it's not bad it's not what i was looking for though it's not what i was looking for i wonder where it, where it is because yeah this is definitely not it Okay, let's go look around up there, out in the real world, see if we can find it, because it was definitely very close to this, maybe it's the other direction a little bit, so let's actually go up this way, if I, if I can get out of here, and maybe it was over the hill this way? No, it definitely was not in the jungle, where was this place? You know, maybe it was past, to be fair, that was the night... You had seen whenever I last logged into the world was at like three in the morning. So it was pretty late. So I might have been more over in that direction. And because I remember that little lava coming out of there. But anyways, let's pass through the mangrove and grab some, you know, mangrove trees. I don't really remember how to grow them. I think you need the propagules and then you bone meal the propagules. Dude, I have no idea. <laughs> but we'll find out together. That looks cool over there. There's tons of cool stuff around here. Um. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I might as well make a boat. Might as well make a boat. Just do a little something here. It's always nice to, uh, that's not what I meant to do, but hey, it actually works. Do a little, uh, yeah. I'm not sure we'll ever come back here, but there is indeed some, uh, some semblance of us from t a time once past. Time longs longs past? That's not right nice out here. I like it. Oh, <laughs> I forgot you could run into those. Well, that's fun. Kinda. I don't really want them, but it is nice to be able to... Oh, kind of parkour through them. A little intense driving. Now, I haven't been... I haven't been in the mangrove swamp in quite a while. Oh, wow. This is only efficiency three. This does have unbreaking three, right? Yeah, okay. Well, I am going to grab some of this mud because I'm pretty sure you can make it into, maybe you have to smelt it. I don't know. Why is this so loud? <laughs> uh, recent. See, the recent thing is not right. Like, that's not what I've, uh, we'll just search mud. Mud break. That is the noise. So we'll turn it down to like 23. There we go. Now we can mine it. Hey, look, some coal. Let's go. It's like the game new. We wanted a little bit of coal as well. Thank you very much, Mr. Minecraft. Or Mrs. Minecraft. I don't know. We don't think we'll ever know. The person who made the original game was a man. By the name of Marcus, I think, Peterson. He went by Notch in game. I feel like people all know that. People. Some people think Microsoft made Minecraft, but no, they, they just bought it. He saw the success of Minecraft on the consoles when uh, 4J Studios, I believe, was developing the console version. And they bought her out. 
they bought Minecraft out. And uh, the rest is history. <laughs> Not a great one. So we'll take some of the mud. We can always come back here. Uh, we'll have to remember the coordinates. 284, negative 668. I mean, we're really not that far away from home. Like, at all. Oh, that makes mine and wood so easy. Oh. Oh. If someone said cherry trees are not the worst to mine. The hardest thing to mine. See, do you put these just on the ground? I guess you do. I would assume that you do. I don't know for sure. We'll grab some of these root blocks. But yeah, people are saying, no, Neo. The cherry blossom trees aren't the hardest to break or farm. The hardest to farm are these, uh... <laughs> these freaking mangrove trees. Which I don't think that's even what they're called. Yeah, it is. Mangrove trees. I thought it was mahogany for some reason. I don't know why, but mahogany almost sounded right when I said it. So I'm not sure. Get way up in here. I see one way back up in there. I didn't, I didn't farm too many of these trees. Oh, wow. I see what people mean. Okay. Kind of way up in there. Oh, wow. Okay. It's way up in there. Oh, and it goes over again. That's great. Yeah, these... Oh, <laughs> how tall is this tree? Hey, yo. What? It's like a freaking jungle tree, dude. Because, yeah, I don't think they drop, like, saplings. I just don't think that's a thing. There's no mangrove saplings. They just drop... I don't know. We'll come back and see if they drop anything. I think they just dropped these. Or, you know, because they're... Oh, they like the, the, the propagules. That's how you say it, right? Propagule. It's not a word you hear every day. Hi, Mr. Propagule. How are you doing? I am so funny. Surprised as you guys watch me. Just laughing, waking everyone up. You're watching me when everyone's asleep, huh? Bad idea. You're going to wake everyone up. Okay, well, I'm going to get a few more of these. Nothing too, too exciting. I think you guys have seen the swamp a lot on your own. I personally, this is still pretty new to me. In the last Let's Play I did, I was briefly here. I built a little base. We found an ancient city. It was, it was fun. Um, we know where an ancient city is in our uh, area. And now that we have a lot of wool, I think we should go back there. It could be kind of fun. But this wood is really beautiful. Um, I think we can find a good use for it. It'll be a little bit tricky, but like, I like the color. I think that mixed with like this. They, they kind of contrast each other well. So maybe we can use that for like, you know, contrasting. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to get any more wood. I'll run around. If I see any propagules, I'll get them. Because um, I am pretty sure those are the saplings. Like I'm not 100% sure. But I'm like 99% sure. And uh, in which case, I mean, 16 is more than enough to have a starter amount to be sure we don't run out. And yeah, we could always come back here. Okay, to what I was trying to find, it was cool. Let's see if it's over this hill right here. So let's see. Uh, the only place I remember going was to the right of this. And I wasn't up here. I was more on the ground and I saw the lava. I was like, this is kind of cool. I don't really recall if we have pumpkins. So we'll grab them just in case we don't. Um, you know, Halloween will be coming up somewhat soon in October so maybe we will need a few pumpkins for that we shall see oh no I actually don't think I was over here because this would have been burning a whole lot more but I feel like I feel like this is so you never get that feeling like you've been here before this looks almost like the seed on the previous let's play where it's kind of crazy over there is there any iron in here I mean that's what we're here for is iron you are not iron. Not even close. Yes. Very good job, Mr. Creeper. Smite one. Not the greatest enchant in the world, but she'll do. She'll do. A couple of torches. There we go. 64. Oh, another one. Just great. Just great. Okay. That was almost disastrous. Is this a big cave? I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's somewhat big, but, like, I need iron. Where to iron? This is not right. Is it becoming dark? It is becoming dark. Okay, we sleep. Nice. This is why iron farms are nice. 
The only part I don't particularly love about iron farms is when you have to like set up a piston on a clock that'll like hide the villager from the zombie and then show the zombie and sometimes they get messed up and stuck and you have to go inside them. So I may, I may look up a video from Shulker Craft and see if there's any new designs out because Shulker Craft makes the best tutorials. Not affiliated with them in either way, but if you want good tutorials, go watch Shulker Craft and if uh, tell, tell, tell him I sent you his way. Because if you want things like any sort of automatic farms, I'm serious, the channel is called Shulker Craft. The only reason I'm advertising it is because it's so helpful, dude. I've used the tutorials forever. All of my new mob farms, pretty much anything, aside from the few that I've come up with myself, which is not, not a whole lot anymore, to be honest. I used to love coming up with my own designs, but they changed a lot of things. I forgot, you know, to uh, keep updated with all the mechanics. Why are there vines in here? Are we that close? Ah, oh, I see. The jungle's right up there. That makes sense. It does make mining on camera a lot easier. I think that's one of the biggest things for me. Because mining, when you don't have efficiency, it's just so slow. And like, look, we already have so much coal. Holy crap, dude. I'm going to have to make a trash hole. And Oh, there's another vein of coal down there. Look at that. You're a zombie, which is not great. We're gonna need to make this into coal blocks, but I wanted to throw away a few things. Like, I don't need that, that, that. Moss carpet, nah. One stick, no. Cobblestone, no. Two grass, no. Wow. Almost four stacks of coal. Uh, okay, no more coal. I'm just gonna get iron now, but it's it, it, Which it's funny because I like There's no iron we found like one little tiny a bit of iron and that's it That's why I was looking for this mountain that I had found because it was it was like awesome. I was like man look at all the ooh. Hey, we got four emeralds from one pocket, so that's the maximum you can get I Will not be unhappy with that because we do not currently have a way to get a bunch of emeralds. Ooh. Ha! 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 Oh, I thought that was more emeralds. No! No, oh, we just got tricked, dude. I love how when it's, you know, in a... Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. It, it either looks like a creeper. It either looks like an emerald. I mean, it doesn't ever look like anything good. Okay, I... I mean, obviously the emerald's good, but it's not good. It just tricks me a bunch. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Let me out. Let me out of here. Okay, we'll, we'll try a little bit further. We'll go along over here because there were some big mountains, dude. It was like a big, big uh, like cave and some big mountains. There was a village at the base of it. So if that's what's over this hill, great. If not, I think it's best we turn around. Was it over there? You know what? We're far enough away from home that if we mess this up... Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I didn't see any comments about my MLG buckets. I saw none. I'm very unhappy with you guys. I thought everyone was going to be like, Wow, Neo, you're so good at clicking your mouse when you fall. That's so impressive. You're so cool. I wish I could grow up and be like the Neo Cubist who, who jumps and, and does MLG buckets. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I know I'm pretty cool, but... Oh! <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about... Ooh! Always amazes me. Always amazes me. All these years, and they've left this in the game, which I love. I mean, I'm not, like, saying, but it's just, like... They, they kept, like, the classic parts of the game where the generator sometimes... There's so much, like, noise in, in, the, in the noise map that it's using to generate the world. That sometimes a few things just kind of slip through. Like, uh, okay. This, uh, not being able to go up trees. Like, what is that? It's so weird. Oh, in the one block we break, really? How? <laughs> like, there's nothing around here. And look at that savanna. That's super tiny. That's kind of cool. But, like, where? There's a bee. Hello, bee. But... Like, I don't know. I don't know. 
I'm going to look over here because I don't think I've seen the savanna in this world. A nice opportunity to get some good blocks. I would like to get at least one of those trees just so that we have the wood. Uh-huh. Okay. No iron. No iron. Very strange. I feel like I haven't even seen any that I was like, oh, this is too hard to get. Because I would just get it at this point. We have like none. Very weird. Hmm. Oh, I see a warm ocean over there. That's nice. Yeah, I, I don't I, I guess I went in another direction whenever I found what I was talking about. I'm really not too sure. I will grab this just so that we can get a few savanna or what is it even called? Acacia saplings. It's not my favorite wood in the world, but it is nice in some situations. I think it can look good if you use it right. We will do some ruins at some point. I want to find a desert. I know you can find some in the jungle, but I really want to find a desert. I feel like that's where... Okay, we have four of them. That's more than enough. Five of them, and you're thriving them. Six, seven of them, and you're ahead of them. <laughs> don't know. Maybe this. Maybe this ravine. If that's a ravine, got to be a little bit of iron in there. Oh, come on. Yeah, we hit it. There we go. Oh, it's a water ravine. Oh, well, maybe this was all for naught. We'll, we'll see. I'll go a little bit further. That looks funky as heck. So does that. I'm just going to end up bringing it around, but it's, it's nice exploring the world. To know what's around your base is always a good thing. Do I wish we had a map? Sometimes. I, I wanted to ask you guys a question. What do you want to see? in the next Minecraft update. Ideally, what part of Minecraft do you feel is lacking and needs more? Let me know. Personally, I think an end update would be amazing. I think the end is cool. I think it has a lot of neat stuff, but in reality, there's just, oh, in reality, there's just nothing there. You know, in the nether, you can kind of live there and you know, there's, there's ways to get wood and to farm. But when you live in the end, I mean, yeah, you can bring everything from the overworld. But what if there was a couple of end crops that were, you know, really good, you know, could compete with golden carrots? What if there was a, what if there was a little something, something? I don't know. I don't know what it would be. I'm not, that's not my forte, thinking of game features. But what do you guys want to see updated? Let me know in the comments. Now, this is, should, this should be where you find a lot of iron. I see a little bit. I see a little bit. I do see this. So is th what biome is this? Windswept Hills. I really like this biome. Now, is there a skelly dungeon? No, I think it's just a cave. You'd think there'd be a lot of iron because we are somewhat high up. But no, we're really not. We're only at Y79. I thought we were a lot higher up. But I always really liked these biomes. I think they're beautiful. I love all the exposed stone. I remember it was always good luck back in the old days when you found something like that. Just three? We found 13 iron this whole time. We can do better. We can do better. We'll go over here and see if there's something. More jungle? Maybe, maybe over here? Maybe, please, yes, some iron. You are my savior. Just one? Oh, well, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm trying to have a positive outlook. I'm trying to have a positive outlook. You know, that's one thing, right? You know, I'm not saying if you think something, it'll come true. You know, you can't be like, oh, I'm going to have a million dollars tomorrow. And you'll have a million dollars. I'm not saying that. But mindset is important, especially if you're doing something hard or, or maybe you're, you're going through it. You know, you could be in the worst situation possible and you can say to yourself, maybe tomorrow will be better. And uh, you know what? Maybe it will. Maybe saying that will kind of, you know, in the back of your head, lead you to do a few actions that maybe you feel a little bit better tomorrow. Maybe you drink some more water today. Maybe you take some vitamins. I don't know. But like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what did I see when I was sleeping? What in the world? What is that? What is that? I got to go over there. Oh, my Lord. What is that? Do you guys see? It's all like beefed up. Hold on. Hold on. I'm checking. I'm checking. What in the world? I hope it's I hope it's a desert. I hope it's a de I think it might be a desert. I think I looked at a beach, but over there, I hope it's not just a beach. That looks really cool. But just know, guys, whatever you're going through right now, and maybe you're not going through a hard time, but keeping a positive outlook, and I'm not saying, you know, let's say, you know, someone you know is very sick. I'm not saying that you have a positive outlook and it's gonna cure their sickness. I'm not saying that, but 
it can't help to at least like try and stay it, as positive as, as you can manage. It can't hurt. It can only help. And if it doesn't help, at least you tried. <laughs> Trying is 90%. Okay. Enough uh, life advice that you didn't ask for. There is some... Ugh, I don't really need any more. And it sucks because I thought we found a desert. Um, we just found a very strange beach. Um, like a very, very strange beach. That's not normal. You know, it's it's not normal. What happened? <laughs> like, uh, what, 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 what would you say happened here? If you, uh, if, if, if you had to be a Minecraft historian, what would you say happened here? I'm curious. The Great War of Sand Beach. There are some turtles, so hello, Mr. Turtles. No, 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 don't run away. Don't run away. I'm a kind man. I will bring you much seaweed if I had some. I don't have any. Let's go see. Let's go see what the story is over here. I am curious. Is that iron? No. <laughs> Even on this crazy terrain, I see a shipwreck. But no iron. None at all. I've never seen a beach like this. So this is just Minecraft beach. It just says Minecraft beach. So let me go under this and see if it says like a hill or something. This is wild. Nope, it's just all just Minecraft beach. Oh, and there's like a some beached ruins. Now one thing, that's a piece of suspicious sand right there. I don't have a feather. Uh, maybe there's chickens over there. There's a better chance of them being over there. Oh, there's another village right over yonder. Okay, okay. Well, let's go over there because I, I would like to, you know, maybe go through some suspicious sand. See what the deal is. See what the deal is. Maybe we can find something cool. Because, oh, that, oh no, that's not a shipwreck. That's an abandoned, or a, what is it called? A ruined portal? Something like that. I don't know. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys like these exploration episodes. If they're boring and you don't want me to do them anymore, just let me know. Be honest with me, because for me, I really like exploring and finding stuff. But some people, they would rather see the builds, or maybe they want a nice mix. I don't know. But leave your feedback in the comments, because without feedback, uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'll just keep doing what I want to do, but maybe it's not what you want to see. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Now, do any of you have any chickens? Chicken? I need a feather or two. Just a few. 10 clay for one emerald. I've got to be completely honest with you. That is an amazing trade. And uh, under different circ circumstances, I would take much advantage of that. 10 clay for one emerald. 10 clay for one emerald. I might take you up on that. See, now the issue being, I don't think you can make this into uh, the, the the clay balls or whatever they are. Clay balls or something. You can't make it into the clay. You have to like put it on the ground and then break it by hand. Mm. Is there any more clay around here? I see a little bit right there. Now I don't know how many they give you per like block. Um, oh, there would be clay over here, probably. I'm trying to do this because, you know, getting emeralds is kind of hard sometimes. And uh, since we found such a good trade, we might as well take advantage of the situation here. Oh, it's raining. It's a rainy day. Ah, beautiful. Hopefully this is not like the end of the day. And uh, this will be over soon. Hopefully this can last a little bit. We need to find some chickens. We need to find some chickens. Any clay? Any clay? Yes, a big thing of clay. This is exactly what we needed. Oh, this is huge. Oh, wow. Okay. So we'll end up like breaking it with our pickaxe or something. We'll be a little bit slow, but it's going to give us optimal amounts. I'm pretty sure we're ha we have close to a stack of this stuff. At least. Be nice to get some underwater armor. Could do some underwater builds. Would be kind of nice. I always liked underwater building. Because back in, you know, the classic versions of the game that were only creative, building underwater was, like, really fun. 
least for me. Okay, so we're going to go back over and see if we can find the villager that was had this trade going. Rest assured, it's still a rainy day. We're just over here where it doesn't rain <laughs> for some reason. Um, you didn't leave your house, did you? Okay, good, because you can't leave. <laughs> At least not right now. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Yeah, so this will take a little bit, but I'm going to do this so that I can get... Yeah, I'll be back. Okay. Now, there's a good chance that he will only let me trade this a few times. So, I'm not going to like... Where's the rest of the clay? I know there's more. Oh, there's got to be more than that. That's... We only got that much clay from... Oh, my gosh. You know, honestly, the Mason Villager is not a bad deal. You actually get quite a bit. Like, look. All that. Four more emeralds. Not bad. Okay. So, we, have, we, we ended with 28 emeralds. We can't get any more. We'll keep the clay just because, you know, why not? Can't hurt to keep the clay. Um... Don't need the dirt. Okay, it is definitely starting to get dark. So, let's go to sleep. And we didn't find any chickens. We'll have to save. I mean, we can find more ruins in the future. They're not exactly super hard to find. Um, yep. Yeah. I'll meet you guys back at the base. I'm going to journey back there. It'll take a bit, but eh, it's fun. Why can't I sleep? Is it not actually becoming dark? I can't tell. I don't know, but I'll go back to the house. I'll meet you there. I'm not going home. I need more iron. I don't care how far we have to go to get it. We are going across the freaking ocean. We're going to find iron. Let's do this. I think I found what I need. I think I found what I need. Some more exposed stone over there. Is that? No, that's copper. Oh, chicken. Aha. Aha. Just when we don't need you, we find you. Now, I believe it's just one feather. Probably. Now it's becoming dark, right? Yeah, it's becoming dark. Okay. Let me sleep. I'll go over there, grab the copper, smelt it up. And uh, if we find any more ruins, then we'll get that. But I don't know if there will be more on the way. We'll see. But on our way home, I guess we can stop by those and get them. Yeah, that'll work. Let's just go over here. Let's see. I'm hoping a little bit of iron. See, I think my least favorite biome is the savanna. Or the... the is it called the savanna? What is this called? Yes, Savannah. I don't know why. I just don't like... I don't like the wood too much. And I guess that's probably the biggest reason. It's just kind of an ugly color. <laughs> so what? Sorry. I, I don't mean to offend you, Savannah. But your 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 uh, wood color is pretty ugly. And it's not my favorite. But it's in the game. And because of that, I have to somewhat like it. Because we got to travel through them quite a bit. They seem pretty common. Okay, we'll make a furnace. Yep, yep, yep. And then we'll smelt ourselves up some copper. And we'll look around here for some iron. Don't know if we'll find it, but we can mine some coal in the meantime. And uh, have a net positive. You know, we're wasting so much smelting that copper. So strange. They did make iron somewhat hard to find. You know, they made it where it's really high up. Or it's in those big veins down low. But I just don't see Interesting. Maybe over here? Nope. Well, I'll let this stuff smelt. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to make the brush. I think you still need a stick. I'm pretty sure. And then it's just like this and then this. Okay. 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 Bruh. What was that? Oh, I was holding my space bar down. Sorry. Okay, brush. Oh, okay. Aha! I am petting the furnace. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, well, I don't really care about... I do care about the coal. Um, not so much the copper in there. We'll just leave it smelting. Maybe we'll come back eventually and find it and be like, yes. A secret supply of copper, but I don't think so. Is that... What I think it is. No. No, it's not. Okay, well, I'll see if the next landmass is really cool. I'll show it. If not, I'll show you guys when we're back home. Iron! 
I found a little, like, sparse jungle, I don't even know, like, a, I guess a sparse jungle island. And it's not a rainy day anymore. Not a rainy day anymore. I found a sparse jungle island, which is good. But I don't know what we're looking for anymore. We were looking for iron. But we need to find mountains for that. And so far, not so good. All these stony shores. Devoid of iron. I think we found the flaw in our world. I think we found the drawback. We don't have any iron. I'm just kidding. Of course, every world has the same amount of resources. I think we're just looking in the completely wrong area. Um, now, as much as... Oh! Okay. Oh, in a desert biome and a coral reef. Oh, we're going over there. Oh, we're going over there. Yeah, our inventory is a little bit... Uh, yeah. It's a little... <laughs> full. But we'll still go over there. Um... And maybe we can find something in the desert. I don't know. There's a little abandoned ship. Uh, well, I guess more like a shipwreck. It's not really abandoned. I think it was force. It was forcibly abandoned at some point. And maybe we can have more luck finding iron. Because I know that, you know, in the Badlands, I see a little bit right there. Oh, I think the coral reefs are so beautiful. I truly do. They are, they are one of the most beautiful things in Minecraft. It would be so nice to live underwater in one of those. Um, we could make an outpost out here. But, like, it would be an outpost outpost. Because this thing... We're about 4,000 blocks from our house right now. four to 5,000. So, if we were to do an outpost... <laughs> yeah. Might be a little bit too far for one. But, if we can find a bunch of iron, that would be great. I think we will. Let's go see. Okay. So, this looks like a desert. I absolutely love this biome. Some people think it looks bad. I don't. I don't think it looks bad. Bell, bells, bells are rare. I, the mud. I mean, I can always go get more. Will I end up using it? Probably not. So I'm not gonna waste my time I'm trying to figure out what is glowing down there. Is it just sea pickles? <laughs> just the sea pickles glowing a little bit. I think so. Because the higher up in the world we get, I keep thinking I see cool stuff, and I don't know where like the. Isn't that neat? Right down to the coral reef. The ancient cities, not they're not called ancient cities. The the ruins are like in the desert, but I don't know in what way. Or maybe they're only in the jungle. I think they're in the jungle. The taiga and the desert. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think they're in those three spots. I'm not totally sure though. All I know is that this biome looks really cool. Like this is this is killer. Oh, now I know there's going to be some suspicious sand over there. So we're going to go over there and probably some diamonds, which I'm not going to say no to. So we just wasted so many making so many tools. We may have not needed, but I like enchanting. Oh, okay. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. The raise in elevation increases our iron. Interesting. Okay, cool. Well, I'll meet you guys over at the ancient temple. Okay, let's see what's in here. There's also a village, desert village over there. So I don't know if like... Okay, well I know... <laughs> I know I need to get rid of you. Thank you for blowing up history. <laughs> appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it. Oh wow, we break that very quickly. Do we need TNT? Uh, no, not really. Quick charge three. If funnily enough, I'm not even going to take the iron in there. I will take that. Um, I will take this. Armor trims. Dune armor trim. Okay, so we have two dune armor trims. And an enchanted golden apple. I will very much so take that. And diamond horse armor. I will take that as well. Thank you very much, my good sir. A pleasure doing business with you. A pleasure. An absolute pleasure. I like how in this episode we said we're going to do much stuff. And uh, we basically just said, screw it. And we've just been exploring. But hey, that's that's doing what you want opposed to like, you know, I guess when you're a content creator, it's different. But like, you know, I'm not trying to like stick to one thing. And that's been so fun. Just playing instead of like playing to make the video. I'm playing and making a video, which is special. So I know that in the little, uh, what are they called? Honestly, I can't remember. 
the wells desert wells i guess i thought they had a name but i think they're just desert wells there are there is suspicious sand i think and you can find some stuff from them i don't think any any of the suspicious sand gives you like really good loot but I do know that you can find some unique armor trims, which would be kind of cool. Now, is this just a, oh, just a normal kind of cave? Yeah, but there is lots of gold in the Badlands, like a ton. I might want to grab a little bit while we're here. Sorry, Clay, I, I can get more of you, if I'm honest. You're just a uh, Clay. But yeah, gold in these is really nice to find. I probably should mine it with Silk Touch because then you can get some really cool blocks that you don't get very many of otherwise. I want to get a bunch of ores together and make this... Well, I'm not going to spoil it. I got something I got something in mind. Well, in a roundabout way, I think I'm going to head home now because, yeah, this is really cool, but there's absolutely no iron. We got 38 on our journey to get some. I probably could... Well... If we really want iron, we could just dig straight down, but I'm so far from my house that I'm afraid. If I dig straight down and I fall into lava, well, I guess if I fall into lava at any point, that's not good, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'll meet you guys back home. Ow, made it back home. Broke my legs a little bit. Boots are gone. Helmet is gone. We're going to need some new armor. Uh, nothing. There is pretty much nothing between here and home. Just a 30 minute walk, maybe 20 minute, but we didn't find any more iron, really. I mean, we found, like, a tidy little bit. Uh, but you know what? It's okay. Ah, oh, I thought maybe. Maybe there was some in there. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not at all. I will put, like, a little bit in each one of these, because it is nice to be able to just throw it in there and not have to worry. Okay. Put the rest into here. Now, it, it is kind of silly of me, because, to be fair, I think there's still some pre pretty big caves <laughs> that we could go to to get some iron. And now we have three enchanted golden apples. A couple more of these runes, which are cool. We'll kind of keep them down there. Because, I mean, I don't really know what you do with them. I just know they're really rare. Um, I, I know you can add trim to your armor. I'm not going to add trim to this armor. This armor is kind of bad. 19 plus 43. It's a stack. It's enough for an anvil. So I think it's safe to say we can go ahead on the build. Let me sort the rest of this stuff out. Okay, so let's go ahead. I think it's I think it's four blocks of iron or maybe it's I, I can never remember, but at least we, I know we need one more. Okay. Now it's either a shape like that with another iron up there or it's three and then this. Okay, that's the other one. So we made a little bit too much. Oh, well we could have just made that the whole time. See, leave me. Okay, there we go. Eh. There we go. <laughs> Since I can't craft. We'll put this over here for now. And then we will combine these shovels in the cheapest way possible. Wow, it still costs a lot. Okay. Is what it is. And that's one noise. Anvil. It's like anvil. Anvil use. Always so loud. Doesn't need to be very loud. Okay, so yeah, if we're going to dig out a nice area, I want to do it over here. I want to have like a tree farm with all the biomes trees and uh, we will need the flat area. I mean, we have a lot of area to make flat, um, but we're going to put the enchantment table over here. So we'll eventually make a path that goes off around here. And uh, if we want to, we could start to terraform this a little bit just to make it look good. Uh, we can break dirt at... Well, rapid speeds, <laughs> which makes this whole thing a lot easier. Uh, in some ways, it can make it a little bit harder. But like, if we want to terraform this, this is kind of what I want to do. Because I, Since I want a path here, I want it to feel like there's enough room. And currently, it does not feel like that. Okay, so the path kind of goes right there. And this is fine up to here. But then, like... I guess... It, and it's kind of hard to determine where. But starting off over here, I want it to be... Wow, I forgot how fast you break with efficiency. It is somewhat tricky, but you can do it. Okay, so up to the fourth block like this. Okay, let me break out all this. Get this terraform just a little bit. That way I feel like I have more space and I'm not all crunched up. 
There we go. Okay, something like this. And then over to here. I don't know exactly where. Kinda, we'll, we'll just kind of smooth it out until we stop. There we go. See, so it's a little tricky just to break one dirt block. But we'll go back and fix our mistakes later. Because there's going to be quite a few. I'll come back when this looks pretty. Okay, looks good to me. And then at some point we might add like some sort of wall or something. But, oh no, you... <laughs> You are kind of the wrong spot, but now we have a nice area. I don't know. We'll end up terraforming everything, but for now, this is good enough. I think the area up here is kind of flat enough and uh, somewhat able to hold what I want to build. Yeah, we should be good. So I'm going to start off by building a big circle. So we're going to do like, I need enough room for this. So we'll do one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So this is five and then we'll do... Three, two, one, two, three, and then three, five, three, two, one, two, and then three, and then one, two, three, four, and five, and then we'll continue the pattern. Three, two, one, and hopefully this will actually look like a circle. On like the uh, base of the windmill, which at first wasn't giving me very good circle vibes. It did not really look like a circle. And then three. Okay, so we did build it right, which is nice. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now I need to break out this whole thing. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit big, but I want it to be like a great grand library. Uh, we're going to need some glass, which means we'll need to go get sand. Not a problem at all, but I am going to have to dig quite a bit. So this entire thing will be dug out. I don't know how many blocks deep, but quite a few. Might need to go find some amethyst geodes. I'm not totally sure on that. And break all the dirt that we can, because like I said, this thing's going to be pretty deep. It's going to take a while to dig it out. I may need to make a couple of project chests. Or a bunch of project chests, because <laughs> Oh, maybe the circle is a tad too big. I mean, all for enchanting, but enchanting is like a big deal, okay? I mean, y you don't enchant that often, and when you do, it's hopefully to get some pretty good stuff. Okay, well, let me dig this out and dig it down a little bit. I'll come back with a nice cylindrical hole. This is taking like 30 minutes to dig, and I think you guys are like, Neo, where are you? Well, the idea is the enchanting table will be here, cobble or right here. The cobblestone will be right here. And then this is the actual, like, uh... Oh, this thing is huge for an enchanting area. Oh, it gets bigger. Oh, it gets bigger. Yeah. So it's going to be a pretty cool uh, little, pretty cool little enchanting thing. We'll see. Uh, I planted some cherry trees. I say some and there's an absolute ton. Uh, but we we're going to need a lot of cherry wood and I didn't have any and I have a nice level of efficiency. So it should be pretty easy. But yeah, just planted a nice big forest of cherry trees to mine. Might take a little bit, but that's okay. I wanted to give you guys an update. I didn't want to do like too much off camera, but to be fair, we just dug a hole. Um, and yeah, we, we planted quite a few. I don't really want any more to grow. Okay. <laughs> I don't really want any more to grow, so I'm going to go around. We're going to pick up all these uh, just to prevent that from happening. Because I wasn't sure the spacing that they need to like grow. So I just kind of grabbed a couple of stacks and threw them on the ground. Like a stack and a half or something like that. And it looks like most of them grew. Except for a few, which is fine. This may be a little bit more than we need, but it's good to have an excess of every material. So, we're going to need a lot more bookshelves. I did figure out how to make chiseled bookshelves. They're actually, like, super duper easy. They're literally just... Well, I'll just make a couple planks. They're literally just this. This is a chiseled bookshelf. And what's cool about them is you can put individual books in them, but the thing is, is it would take, I believe, more books to fill this than it would to be... Than it would to make a book case. What? So you don't get the chiseled bookshelf back? Why? <laughs> okay. I mean, sh sure. Okay. You see, so you don't you don't get it back. You don't get it back. Um, this will be a problem because these are connecting. I'll 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 get all this stuff in a second. But let's go over the game plan. Um, for the actual enchanting area. So, bookshelves are going to be lining this. This will be solid bookshelves. 
Okay. Pretty cool, right? And then we'll go to the next row. Solid bookshelves. Okay, then we'll go to the next row. Solid bookshelves. Again, the cobblestone is kind of where the bookshelves are going to be going under. That's why I left it there. There'll be like fence along here or something. And then bookshelves and then bookshelves. So it'll be like a giant hole of m m coolness. Maybe. I don't know exactly the plan yet, but that's kind of the rough outline. Um, the next step is just to get cherry wood because I don't have any, but we did manage to uh, mine out quite a bit of resources, which is good, but yes, now we get to do the fun part, mining all these trees. I'll see you guys in like another 30 minutes. Yeah, that was a lot of trees. As you can see by my, uh, this is Unbreaking 3 and we already did that much damage to it. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it, I think this literally took longer than digging the hole. But hey, the positive is we were not going to need to get any cherry wood for a little bit. And put it that way. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up the saplings. I, dude, I, I put down like a stack and a half and I, I swear I have like five stacks at least. I'd already put up some of the wood. This is not like all the wood we got. We didn't just get three stacks. No, no, no. Come up here. Let me show you what we've gotten. Just a few. Just a few. So yeah, we didn't quite get as many as many stacks. I felt like we did get a lot um, stacks of saplings. This is how much wood we got: um, nine stacks. Plus, we got fifteen stacks of cherry wood logs. Um, I did bring over. Oh no 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 no! That's right, that's right. The saplings are in there. Yeah yeah yeah. We did get like ten stacks of saplings. It's insane. Like I literally had, I think, like this plus like twenty three or something. And that's how much profit and saplings we got. I mean, it's just, it's just, I think they need to tune it down a little bit. Because with oak trees, it makes sense that they drop at this rate. Mm, but with these, it should be like jungle trees where they'd have a lower chance of dropping. Okay. Well, anyways, let's get on to the actual build because, uh, yeah, we need to actually build the thing. So I'm not exactly sure what that means, like how it's going to look exactly. But I have a few ideas. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of everything. Just a little bit of everything. I want to make some of these into those. Someone was just was telling me in the comments, you can strip this. Okay. And that looks cool. And then you have bamboo planks and then the block. And I'm not saying one looks bad or anything like that. Um, but you can't make that back into the planks. Okay. So how is this thing going to work? Now, chiseled bookshelves, they look cool and stuff. But you... It's tricky because I think they cost more to fill up than a normal bookshelf. Why are you looking at me sideways, my guy? You just came over here. I don't, I don't even know where you came from. Do you want to be my horse? Is that what you want? Okay, okay. Let's get ourselves a horse. I mean, he literally showed up out of nowhere. Right in my face. Snout and face. And he's like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, dude? So, obviously, it needs to be our horse. So, we're going to take a few things here. I don't remember how to, like, tame a horse. I don't think you need to feed it anything. I think you just have to put a saddle on it. And uh, then you're good. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, want to get probably a ladder on a ladder, a lead. Do we have any leads? We don't have any leads. That's not great. We do have a saddle though. Where did our leads go? I swear we had some. Looks like we need to go hunting for wandering traders, which you can't really do. You just have to kind of hope. Um. I don't know where to put Mr. Horse because, you know, he's not really a safe spot. Maybe we'll go and we'll put him in the castle just so that he's somewhat safe. Okay, 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 okay. I see you. They don't want me. This is their horse, apparently. That is quite a few. That is quite a few. That's that's a large battalion. Oh, wow. There's a lot of them. <laughs> oh, a little bit tricky. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, don't kill me. Not like this. I'm gonna defend my honor. No! <laughs> did they despawn? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, you didn't see that. I did not just die. I did not just die. Oh, no. We didn't have any XP levels. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, they're still over here. Parading over. Are you steal my loot? I need to go for the sword. Okay, we got the sword. Bye. <laughs> Ah, I knew we should have taken out this outpost. I don't actually think they came to the outpost, but we can pretend. Nope. <laughs> Look at this again. Why is it lagging? What are you, what's, what's laggy? Is it because I got shot by a pillager? The game's like, oh, 
Gotta load in the pillager. A little aggravating. Let me put this on. We'll be we'll be a more formidable opponent. Come on, buddy. You don't want the smoke. Okay, there we go. To be fair, it was like eight on one. Okay, so you, you can say I'm bad at the game all you want, but it was eight on one. It was not a fair fight at all. But then again, they're pillagers. They don't know what fair means. They're just mean. Uh, I think we have everything back. I, I don't know. I really need to sleep. I hope we have everything. We'll, we'll check. I mean, we got like five minutes, so it's not that big of a deal. Yes, I know you're going to be the greatest horse with... with I like black horses. They look pretty cool. It'll be interesting to see, you know, the contrast between the diamond horse armor. It'll be kind of cool. So. Oh, yes. I was like, I didn't have pants that were that good. I guess I did. Um, let me organize. Okay. I don't have that that debuff you get from when you kill a pillager because I died. A pillager captain. Here is your saddle. Okay. Do you want an apple? Apparently this is not how that works. Okay. Well, let me look it up. I don't remember. I've never... I don't mess with horses, really. Okay, you literally just hop on its back. That's all you do. Oh, now he likes me. There's the saddle. There's... Oh, you look pretty cool, man. You know, not the greatest horse. Very, very slow. And barely jumps. Like, less than a human. Like a half a half block. And really, I think I run faster. <laughs> well, you know what? Can you jump up this? Uh. 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 Wow, that is like easily one of the worst horses I've ever seen before. Buddy, I gotta be completely honest, you're pretty bad. <laughs> you're not a great horse, but you're our first horse, and you will probably stay in our house, and we'll never ride you again. I'm very sorry. I shouldn't have wasted the diamond horse armor on this guy here. He's a... Uh, okay, well... Well, you need, you need a wide entry, so we're gonna have to modify it a little bit. Oh. Okay, I was gonna say, there's no way. Okay, you stay in here forever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Come out whenever you want, but I think you're going to stay in there. Um, <clears throat> okay, to the actual library. Let's build this thing. I think we can do something really cool with bamboo, cherry wood. I think they look pretty good together. That some kind. Sometimes when I look at it, it looks like a cactus to me. Just a wee bit. Just just a wee bit cactusy. But that's okay. We can still make it look pretty cool. Going to take some cherry logs, and we're gonna we're gonna try to we're gonna try to do something cool. Um, before I start any of this, we're going to need to terraform because otherwise it's going to look a little bit weird. We have a lot of grass. It doesn't matter. If you put grass under grass, it doesn't ma make like a difference. It'll just turn into dirt. Give me a little bit to terraform around here. I just want to have a bigger like rim around this thing, if that makes sense. I don't want it to feel so like congested. I'm just going to like do this, if that makes sense. Yeah, something like this. And then we'll even like, go over to here. Something like that. And then just kind of fill it in from there. Yep. That'll work. Just need to make that look a little better or whatever. It's fine. I think the last good looking enchantment area I had was back in the... Uh, Back in the desert survival let's play. The one where it was on a server and uh, they tried to like mess with me. I don't know if you remember that. It was in the desert. N not a lot of people watched it. To be honest with you, I think this series already has more views. So I don't think that many people watched it, but it was a fun one. It was a fun one. So one here, one here, one here. Mm. Let me think about it. You know, I was just taking some multivitamins because I, I don't know, I got up to use the bathroom and I just like remembered. I'm like, I should probably take like some uh, some vitamins every once in a while because I'm pretty bad about it sometimes. And uh, I don't know if anyone else has used to have trouble. I feel like I still have trouble like swallowing pills sometimes. I don't know. It was for a long time like really hard for me 
And I know it's completely random and you're like, why? Why are you? <laughs> I don't care. But yes, sometimes it's, uh, it's still a little bit difficult. I was just curious. Does anyone else out there have trouble like swallowing pills? Is that like a... It, is that a thing? This does not seem right. Oh, yes. It goes right here. Well, then this one isn't right, right? Yeah. It goes... Wait a darn tootin' second. I... I have a feeling I did something wrong. Where did these even go? Towards the inside. Towards the inside. Okay. Boom. 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 I don't freaking know, dude. I think that's right. It seems right. Boom. 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 Yes, that's the same pattern on that side. Okay, cool. So the biggest gap is like three on those. Okay, cool, cool. And I don't know what to top them with. I don't really want to use cobblestone. I feel like finally I'm going to I'm gonna break out of the cobble mold and not use cobblestone. Because it's just like we just use it so much. It's just, yeah, Just, yeah. Let's just not use it. So let's, ooh, let's go grab copper. Because I want to use, I want to make some like lightning rods. Now, it seems like whenever I want to find copper, I can't. So, we can try to find it. By the way, there is an absolutely... I think we can find copper in here. There is an absolutely... I mean, like, giant, giant cave below us here. Like, I, I cannot express to you... I might die just going in here. Um, There is a massive, massive cave. And look, there's copper right here. Like, this thing is huge. I'll, I'll show you below in a second. I just need to take out if there's a skelly. I'm going to die. And apparently this Enderman has been hanging out here for quite a while. I guess you can see the terrain is all sorts of messed up. But look at this thing. Oh, I thought he was coming after me. Look how big this thing is. Like, what? how long has this been here? So we really got to take out this Enderman. I don't know how long he's been here, but it seems like he's a little bit stuck. What? <laughs> okay, to be fair, he did attack me a little bit quicker. Why? Why, Mojang? Why is that one noise so loud? I didn't know that he could go boom, boom, like attack that fast. I thought it was like every other mob, okay, where it was like slower. Okay, you're almost dead. Just one more hit and we would have been okay. Gotta make sure we get everything. This is a... A very war-torn area. Hopefully nothing flew off the side. Does not look like it, but there was that copper there. And that's that's why we were down here. Um, copper, and I, if I could find a geode, that would be really cool. We need better armor. Um, oh, there's our bucket. But we need better armor. And I don't know where... I guess we lost... I know. Yeah, wh where is our stake at? Low steak. I have. I seem to have lost. That was a lot of steak. So I gotta find that. There it is. Okay. Well, not a lot anymore. We used. Man, we've almost used a whole stack of steak in one episode. The thing with copper is like one vein. You're pretty much good. Like I mean, look how much I got. Like that's insane. Almost a stack from a couple of pieces. So we'll use this to make some lightning rods. Uh, I feel like copper will be kind of nice and like. I lost my torches. I lost my torches. Where are you at? See, this terrain is all sorts of messed up, so it's kind of hard to find stuff. You behind there? No? Are you behind there? No? There's no way. Was I out of torches? I might have been out of torches. I will chalk that up to being out of torches. Okay, well, I'm going to get this copper. That's pretty much all I'm going to do here. I just need copper. And I think we probably already have enough. If I'm going to keep it real with you. Yeah, <laughs> three stacks of copper. Hmm, do we want to go get more? It's going to be a little tricky because it is dark. There's a chicken! <laughs> what is going on here? What has happened? This is such a strange area. Oh, it's dark. That's not great. There might be mobs in here or around our bed. Should have kept better track of time. Are we okay? Oh, we're good to sleep. We're good to sleep. Okay, cool. I think we have enough, but I don't know for sure. I'll, I'll go find some more copper somewhere else that's a little less uh, 
I don't know. That for some reason that's more intimidating than like the cave that's behind my house because I'm pretty sure it has a ton too. Okay, so we're in that OG cave. You guys remember our uh, first day hole? Well, it wasn't the first day, but our first little uh, base. And I think there was a big cave back here. Well, not big, but big enough to have copper for sure, for sure. Or maybe not. Maybe it was over here. I don't know. Very rude of you, sir. Well, I know copper in here. Come on. There's got to be a little bit of copper. You know. Uh, I guess not. Yeah, that's it. Huh. Oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe if we go up here. I think there is more in that dripstone area. Just didn't want to go to the dripstone, man. It's very scary. We can MLG that. Okay. What? Okay, so when you look for copper, it, it is, it's like that in real life. You look for something, you can't find it. But like, copper? That's a super common resource. Yes, there we go. The resource nobody talks about. It kind of looks like puke. <laughs> it doesn't look great. I just wish... I wish you could make, like... Maybe not copper tools. Maybe you have to make it with the blocks or something. But, like, there's just no point to copper, I feel like. I mean, personally. It just, like, the lightning rods are cool because your, your stuff won't get, you know, blasted by lightning. Sure. But other than that, like, you, you put down some lightning rods and you're done. My brain was, like, ignoring the copper. It's like, you don't want that stuff, right? Uh, oh, that's when I was like, hey, I bet I can dig down and find something cool. I think we did. Look how much copper we've got. For just these few veins. It's crazy. It's insane. It's, like, actually insane. Look how big this one little, like, pocket is. Like, what? What? Like, okay, what are we going to throw in the hole? This, this, and this. And this, and this. And then we should be good. Okay, I'm going to go smelt all this, and I'll meet you guys back at the enchantment place. I, I Dude, I don't know what it's called. Okay, I have no idea what it's called. I'm going to try to make it look really cool. I think I have some pretty big ideas for it. Okay, we got so much stuff. Oh, we got so much stuff. I don't need the cobble. Okay. This is literally all copper smelting, man. We're absolutely, literally cooking. Okay, now call me crazy, but these three blocks kind of oh, kind of go together, right? And oh, we don't really have any glass, but that's okay. Do we have any amethyst? I feel like we gathered... Okay, we gathered a stack. Okay, and I don't think you can do anything. I mean, that's a missed opportunity. You can't do anything with amethyst. That I know, but it looks nice and crystally. I mean, because it's literally a crystal. So that's perfect. Now, I'm going to need to go put some stuff up and then I'll come back here, grab the copper. I'm basically going to build a little floating spire on top of the enchanting area. I don't know what it's going to be exactly, but I do know that I think it's going to look pretty good. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. With a little crystal center. I don't know. I just got some cool ideas. Okay, well, we grabbed quite a bit of copper. Um, and I think, you know, I, I'll go ahead and make a lot of this into the lightning rods. Oh, my goodness. Hello, buddy. Now, I know that this stuff will... Oh, my gosh, dude. He's like, please come back, please. I hate it here. You are... Dude, you are a home horse, okay? You're not fast enough to be out there in the wild. You're going to get caught by a skeleton and killed. You can't... He can't even outrun himself, and he can't jump as high as a human... With uh, much weaker leg muscles. Much smaller, proportionally. He's kind of a... I don't want to say he's a failure horse. He's just a little... Uh, I'm not sure. N not gifted. <laughs> put, it, put it that way. Okay, so we'll build this. We'll build that last. We'll build that last. There's a few things I need to get out of the way first. Um, as far as capping these blocks... You know, I went through all that, right? And I was like, oh, I'm going to do something different. I came back and I don't even have anything different. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wish you could make variants of these blocks, but it looks like you can only do these, which is fine. I'm, I'm not really complaining, but 
Uh, I'm not exactly sure what blocks you want to use around here. I do know we'll cap these with this. Uh, there needs to be a, a block that goes between... Oh, a block that goes under these, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm just going to kind of build. You guys chill out, grab a drink, get some, you know cup of Gatorade or some water or something. I bet you guys are dehydrated out there. If you're anything like me, you're probably severely dehydrated and that's not good. You need, you need to stay hydrated. You're going to get a kidney stone. I've had two. I wouldn't recommend them. So drink water. It's funny. I say all that. I had like two monsters before this video. I knew I was going to need it. A lot of grinding and uh, sometimes that can make it fun. Not that it's not fun without it, but sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna put all these logs like going down. I don't think you particularly want to see that. Um, and then we'll have to kind of figure out where. We'll go ahead and just break this. I know we don't need it for now. Okay, and then I think there'll be one here, there, and there, and there. Sure, why not? So one there, there. There and what? <laughs> I don't think this one is even. No, 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 no. It, mm -mm. No, it's not. I must restart. I must restart. I'm gonna go over here where the materials are the same. It won't be as tricky. Okay, so one in the middle, then one here and one here. Okay, so one in the middle, then here and here. And you can't really put any in the middle without them touching, and I don't want that. So we'll just leave it, but that's not good. Maybe there's a way here and here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the outside of the two. Okay, there we go. I can do that. Outside of the two. There we go. Okay. Seems like there's a big space between one of these and not the other. How did I do this? One? Oh, this one's supposed to go there. There we go. We're good. I think. They, nope, this one's in the wrong spot too. Okay, there we go. And then, I don't know why this is not... Well, it's, that's not the material it's going to be. Okay, so I'll bring all of these down. Oh, wait. That's right. We got another layer. Hold on. I think that's all that will fit. We'll figure out that later. Because I don't know what to put down there at the moment. So, we'll just do like some dirt stairs to go up for now. You know what? We'll put it here. We'll break it. We'll figure something out later. Okay, so I'm going to bring all of these down. And then I will come back in just a bit when that's done. Okay, so I brought, <clears throat> I brought all those down on this layer at least. Just so we can get the top started. We're going to do some sort of staircase here. Not exactly sure how it'll go. Um, and then if we want to do that, hey, that's perfect. There's a little block there to... Just so that we can have this thing be even on the stairs part at least. Okay, so that'll be dug out. And then, yeah, we gotta figure out what we wanna run in between here. I feel like cherry leaves would be nice. Uh, we do have quite a few, oh, we got more dirt over here. Uh, we do have quite a few, and by quite a few, I mean a ton of cherry trees over yonder in our cherry valley. So let's go gather a few of those. I think probably two shears worth or just one shears worth will be enough. I don't really want that. Um, the grass we could stick in there. Got just a lot of junk. Uh, this whole expedition, I mean, they get two double chests full of stuff. Then we, when we came over here, we had, you know, maybe a little bit of an inventory full. And we ended up with two double chests. That's how you know it's a good project. Uh, if you're doing a project and you don't have a project chest area, then it's very tiny project. You got to have a chest area, man. Got to have one. So in doing this, we'll probably have to break all the trees and in between episodes because it, it'll end up looking pretty pretty rough if we just kind of take out the leaves and leave the logs. Um, it is going to be night somewhat soon, but I think we could do this pretty quickly. I'm just going to go absolutely crazy on them. Nice. Well, there we go. And it makes it easier when your uh, when your area is terraformed and you can just gather everything because there's nothing for it to catch on see it, from down here you can't break any the cherry trees are not they're just not too friendly for uh anything really i mean they're friendly in that they look really good
but when you want to get stuff from them, they make it very difficult. Um, and it's so close to time to sleep that I'm just going to sleep. Uh, if we can get up here. Yeah, we can do it here. Oh, albeit a little bit rough. We still got up and over. This castle is easily breachable. Okay, and there we have it. That is exactly two shears worth of leaves. Uh, I'm sure I missed a few, but how many stacks is that? So I know for future reference. We'll just say seven stacks. I mean, that's, yeah, seven stacks. I'm sure you get a little bit more plus or minus if you picked up everything, but about seven stacks, which is perfect. Uh, I don't think we're going to end up using all of those necessarily, but I would... I, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, we could go kind of crazy. I do want to like put cherry trees around this thing. I, I'm trying to make the whole area kind of cherry foresty. So we may end up putting a few cherry trees blossomed or uh, sparingly placed around the area. Um, okay, so we'll take bamboo and we're going to put it in between each one of these cherry posts. Um, I believe we should probably use... Um, I don't know if I want to use block of bamboo. I think we're just going to go with the solid variant because I don't think we have enough if we use the other kind. So that means I get to take my shovel and break all this. Now I am going to break all the blocks around each one. I guess I need to kind of figure out how I want to do this, right? So if I just want it to be just the rim, then we would want to leave this. But again, like if it's just the rim, yeah, we'll want to leave that. So just the diagonal blocks. Okay, I know what I'm saying. You guys are probably like, Neo, what the heck are you talking about? I got it. I got it. I got it. M maybe. <laughs> I wouldn't trust that fully, but I I think I have it, okay? I, I think I can. I think I can. Maybe. Okay, very, very good. And then I think we'll kind of frame all the books. Because this many books would be excessive to get. But filling in these blocks with books, not too bad, right? So what we'll do is we'll go around the entirety of this thing and we will put a row of bamboo like this. We may end up making these stairs. We may end up making these stairs at some point, but I think for now we'll stick with just doing bamboo for, uh, for it because I don't know how stairs will look. I think we want to go get glowstone too. This could be a big project. I don't know if we'll get it all done in this episode, but I'm going to... I'm going to try my hardest to make it so. I think this episode is going to be over two hours, which is, you know, for some people, they really like that, but it could be a little rough to render and upload. I don't think a lot of uh, videos are very much longer than like 30 minutes for most people. So, but I know, I know my audience likes a longer style of content and I, I, I like making it more, but I know that it's not the meta on YouTube, but whatever, man, whatever we, you know how I feel about that. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to need a lot of bookshelves. I continued that pattern down everywhere. Um, obviously, this is just the beginnings. This is just the beginnings. we got a lot more to do. This is not going to be how the whole thing looks, I assure you. I mean, obviously, we're just going to leave it all like plain and barren on the inside. We'll make it look nice and fancy schmancy. Um, I want to build like this centerpiece because I have it in my head really well. And then after that, we're going to have to probably call it an episode because it's it's getting it's getting a little long in the tooth. I want to see how long this is. Hour and 30 minutes. That's pretty long. But either way, I mean, we're not going to be able to get enough leather without getting looting three, which I don't know if you can get from an enchantment table. And I, I, if you can, it's obviously like super rare. Um, but yes, in between these, I want to be cherry leaves. So we will go around and put those out. Okay, looks pretty good. It'll look better once the bookshelves are in here. We're going to need to add a little bit more texture to the build. Um, we're also probably going to want to put like fence in between there. We'll use cherry wood fence, uh, which you should probably do now so that we don't forget. I was like, I just no way I don't have enough cherry wood. I mind so much. I was just missing it. Okay. I don't want to I don't want to excessively craft the cherry fence. That's probably going to be enough. Now, it won't be a perfect fence, and I don't know how we're going to get up in between the layers. Could use some sort of water canal thingy or we could use Oh, I don't know. It could be pretty much anything. Stairs even. 
Or just a ladder. <laughs> we might just go with a ladder. We'll see. In between. There we go. Okay. Okay. Because, yeah, currently to get up and down, I've just been using water. But, like, obviously we don't just want to use water. No, I did have a plan for the lightning rods, but I don't know how... I don't really know if I can do it. Hold on. Let me take off all these. There's just not enough texture on this bad boy yet. We need to go all out. We, we need to go absolutely wild. And I don't want to just like build a build to build it and not give it my all. So I think kind of the plan, which could be cool, is to do some sort of like Hmm. So those are the middle two, so that we could be even on those. Okay, so these ones will go up three. These ones will go up two. And then this will be one and one. So this one will go up two more. This one will go up three. Two, three. One, two. One. One. One, two. One, two, three. Two, one. One. I don't know about the front ones. I guess, well, one, two, three. I guess, yeah, these would have to be the same anyways. Oh, I broke my legs. I'm not gonna lie, at the very bottom of there where we left that hole, I fell in and I really, really injured myself. <laughs> I broke my, I broke both of my femurs. It was not great. Okay. So that in and of itself already gives it so much more. Um, as for what we're gonna do, I have the copper and, and I have an idea of like flaring the, the logs outward. Like it would be. Let me just, let me just like play around with it for a second. So this would be he here and here. Yeah. Hold on. We may be going somewhere. So these ones are faced this way. These ones that go out this way in this direction. Could be cool. Could be cool. Okay, then we gotta face these this way. Okay, maybe maybe you're kind of maybe you kind of picking up the picking up what I'm putting down now. I was not gonna lie, I was feeling a little I was feeling a little mid about this build until I started to uh, think about it, and I have some pretty cool ideas. Yeah, we could do like a curved slab thing on it, but I wanted to go even further. Yo, that's already pretty sick. Ooh, what do we want to do? Upside down, upside down. I think I, I, I think I have it. It's it's in my head, but I, I need to like play around with it. I it, It's in my head, but I, I need to play around with it. So we're going to take a bunch of lightning rods, which I only put somewhere. Okay. And then we need more granite stairs. Oh, we didn't. Oh, no. We don't have enough granite, I don't think. Maybe we do. We'll put up the cobblestone. We're not going to use cobblestone or dirt. We're not using that right now. Can I make enough to make this work? No. I know. I know. I know. I'm cooking right now. Okay. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Boom. And then boom. Okay. Upside down stair. You guys are probably like, dude, what on earth? <laughs> Uh, 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 what what am I doing? What where's my pickaxe? And why is my axe over there? What in the world? This guy's crazy. He's crazy. Just a little bit. Um, I don't know how to put a block on this this right here. Actually, you know, maybe I was doing it right all along. There we go. Okay, and I gotta break this again for that one. Okay, 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 okay. The cook, the cook is happening. Oh, it's so tricky. It's just because this one has like a depression in the ground. It's okay. We can fix it pretty easily. And I may be wrong about that. It may actually be hard for all of them. Um, yeah, we're gonna have that problem every single. Day. Can we go? Can we come in here and do this? Yes, we can for like a few of them. Like just just a few on each side. It'll save us, it'll save us some time. 
It is a good investment. The investment being walking down like two blocks. Uh, wait, did I not put them on the top two? Why were the top two so easy? I did put them on the top two. Okay. There we go. Now we should be fine. Maybe. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let him cook. Let him cook. I know I keep saying that, but I'm cooking, dude. Just give me, give me a second, okay? Give me a second. It's already looking really interesting. Why do these touch on the corner? I built something wrong. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna scream. I built something wrong. I built something so wrong. What did I do? What did I do? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. 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 I can't figure it out. What did I do? If I made if I made the initial circle wrong, then we are we are in a world of hurt. Cuz these don't touch on the corners. Those don't touch on the corners. Those don't touch the corners. But these touch on the corners. Are these not in the same how do these I know you guys are looking at it and you're probably like, well, this goes here. I, I can't I can't do the rainy day right now. It's too dark. It is hard to see. Hold on. Let me go over here. Oh, I almost fell. And let me just like look at it and just see. Okay, so these two here and then the outside then log. I think I think I see it. I think I I think those two posts just need to be moved outwards. I'm like pretty sure that's the problem. I think this is supposed to be here and here. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, dude, you do not know the feeling I just felt. I was like, do I really have to tear down this entire thing and rebuild it? Oh, dude, I would have I would have quit. I would have quit and said we're gonna come back another day <laughs> there's no no way i was gonna i was gonna do that i just i don't i don't my 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 poor brain would not be capable of such okay 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 this makes more sense okay so wait <laughs> does it though does this make more sense i am not sure so where bruh so where do these logs go where do these logs go? I think they go right here. And here. Like that. Because then there's a two block space, and then those in a two block space. And then in the middle of these, it's so annoying not having... Ah, oh, we'll just have to use cobblestone. Okay. And then, let's just confirm. So there's two, basically four blocks. Two, yeah, basically four blocks. Okay, and then two, two. Okay, okay. This is this is making more sense. Okay, I thought I had to. Re Sorry, I, I was silent for a second because I thought I had to rebuild the entire thing. I was like, not doing that. Bye bye. See you guys in the next episode. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Good deal. That is a very very good deal indeed. Oh, such a good feeling when you fix a mistake and it doesn't require rebuilding the entirety. Of the project okay so here and here yep and then here and here yep, yep 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 okay and then i can do these here and they don't touch on the corner they don't touch on the corner there we go that's what i was trying to achieve is not touching on the corner okay so i have all these and you're like neo what is that well first of all it already looks really cool okay second of all i'm gonna i'm gonna finish it i'm gonna finish it just to give me a second to uh to stir the pot boom Boom, 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 boom. You guys are like, this guy's crazy. He's going crazy. 
Sometimes I can build good, man. I think I think something's coming coming out of me. Some good builds are finally coming out of me instead of this garbage I've been building. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. In here, out, boom. In here, out, boom. Okay, in here, out, boom. Gonna be on all of them. In here, out, boom. Okay, so perpendicular to the way the exterior auxiliary logs are running. We're gonna make these come outside and inside. Okay, inside and outside. I can copy that. I can copy that. That's fairly simple. Ooh! Ooh, this is gonna look so good. Ooh, this is gonna look so good. Okay, 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 okay. Keep it going, keep it going. No, get jump up there. Just like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is patented. You can't know. I'm just kidding. I'll tell you in a second. It's gonna be it's gonna be so cool that you won't believe it's real. Does that sound like something? Does that sound like something that's cool? <laughs> Someone's gonna quote me in this video and it could be like, what or what this whole segment, what are you saying? My brain is on fire with these ideas. The inspiration is flowing like a small river that's large. Or a, or a small stream that was undammed, you know, because there was a dam at the start of the stream, and then whatever. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take... Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Wall, 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 wall. Wall, wall. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna do an exuberant amount of walls for the moment. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Break this. Who calling me? Hold on. Dude, so, so I'm in the middle of like getting life insurance, right? And this, this, they sent me an email, you know, cause when you get life insurance, you gotta go to the doctor, you get test done and stuff just to make sure you're like healthy or whatever, right? And, uh, you know, they send me an email to schedule, like, you know, lab work, like blood, blood testing and stuff like that. And, uh, this lady called me to schedule it, which is fine, you know, and, and I told her, you know, Hey, you know, thank you for calling, but I am in the middle of working at the moment. So I, they sent me an email basically to schedule all this stuff online. Right. And so she calls me and wants to schedule, which is fine. Like, I'm fine with her calling me you know, wanting to know, you know, do you mean to schedule on the phone? And I said, you know, no, I, I'd rather do it online because I've just been kind of busy this week with work and stuff. And, and, and then she just, she just hung up on me. She's like, she was upset. Cause I said, I I'll schedule it online. I'm in the middle of working and I, I do have to get going, but I appreciate your call is what I said. And then she just hung up the phone and like, I could hear the receiver, you know, hit the phone. And, uh, and, and, and I call her back and I was like, I, I was just wondering why you hung up on me. And she said, Oh, my receiver, uh, died or something. And I know she wasn't using a headset cause she just hung up the phone. You know, you can hear that, you know, that noise I'm talking about when you, you know, put a, you know, I, a lot of you haven't used like a real phone. I'm sure you used a real phone, but not a cell phone. We go like, you know, cause it clicks into the receiver. And I was like, I, I actually, I heard your receiver. I, I heard your, I heard you hang up the phone and then she hung up the phone again. <laughs> I was like, Oh my gosh, these people aren't too nice, man. Anyways. Okay. You guys are probably like, what does that have to do with anything? But nothing. Just someone called me and whatever. So I'm going to put an acacia fence on top of these and then a lightning rod on each one of those. Dude, this, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. It's going to take a minute because there's quite a few. It's going to take a minute, but that's okay. This is worth the wait. I can assure you. I'm sure you guys have just been waiting a bunch. Let me get this done around the whole thing because it will take like quite a bit. Once I'm done with that, I'll come back and we'll show you how she looks. I think it's going to look pretty cool. I just, I can't believe someone tried to lie about hanging up the phone on me. And maybe the receiver did disconnect, but I was never like rude or mean. I, I don't think it's rude if you tell someone who's, you know, like trying to do something like, Hey, like I'm busy right now. I appreciate your call. And you know, I, I, I will get to that on my own time as soon as I can is basically what I said. And then they just hang up. <laughs> Interesting. So I've been playing a lot of Starfield recently. 
Um, Starfield just came out. It's in the new Bethesda RPG, you know, the people who made Skyrim. It's not like Skyrim at all. It's in space, but it's super duper cool. I've been playing the heck out of it. Uh, my wife, Lauren, has been playing it too, and we'll hop in Discord calls and kind of, you know, it's not a multiplayer game, but wow, this looks cool. Yo, dude, the texturing is wild. Whoa. Whoa, dude. What is this? People, people are going to look at this and be like, it's an alien artifact. Maybe it is. I mean, to be honest with you, it looks pretty crazy. Okay, now on top of all of these, we shall place a crystal. Uh, I need to sleep. It's going to be dark. Okay, maybe maybe not. Maybe not. Because a solid block... Let me, let me see how it looks before I commit. Because I don't want to... I don't want to make it look bad. Look at that. More. So this would be here, and then this would be he, he, here. Oh, the noises are so nice, dude. Yo, dude, that's the move. 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 Okay, okay, okay. It's a little tricky to get up on here, but uh, uh the noises make it worth it. The noises make it so worth it. <laughs> just, I, like, I just, it must have been one like intern's job to make the most satisfying. They're like, I want, I want to hear the most satisfying noise in all of Minecraft, and they're like, bet. And they, just, they made that. Oh, they made that. Yo, dude, that looks sick. I know it looks weird with the dirt down here and stuff. Okay, just. Try to ignore the dirt for now. Just try to ignore it. All for the enchantment table. This whole thing, the center of this whole thing, you know, we, we can put a grindstone in here and stuff. I mean, it, it'll be multi-purpose. There we go. That's that's why I have zoom. So I can place the tiniest... Place on the tiniest plane of a block. Actually, that kind of works out pretty well. Ugh. A little tricky to jump between here. There's lots of hitboxes. F3B. Well, I guess it only shows entity hitboxes, but these blocks all have a different shaped hitbox, and so it makes it a little bit tricky to, uh... Ooh, I could do it like this. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you could do it like that if you're, uh, if you're capable of, uh, parkour. So maybe I should just, like... Oh. There we go. Look at the precision, man. The precision of this guy is insane. Jumping from oh, can I get the can I get the place? Yo, yo, he's crazy! He's crazy! He's crazy! Oh, that's so nice looking. Well, that's you know you know what we can do. Further elevate this bad boy. We need some trapdoors. We need some trapdoors. Okay, okay. We need some trapdoors. All the trap doors. Is that enough? Maybe. Now, do these go up or down? These go up. These go up. That's perfect. Okay. So I'll place these from the outside, and then, well, maybe I want to. Maybe I want to get up there and place them. I don't know. I'll at least place the ones from the outside here. Oh, this is this is going crazy, dude. I was like, I need to add a little bit of texture. I think this is the most texture in anything I've ever built. And it's just some random enchantment area. Interesting, interesting, okay. Okay, so we have the outside ones done. I will go on the inside and build those because it's gonna take, well, it won't take like a while, but it's like I gotta go in here and then boom, boom. And then I'll have to jump from here and do a jabang. Oh, that didn't work. It's tricky, it's tricky. Okay, and then do a... Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, we got it. We got it. We're missing one. This will be a fun place to come up and parkour a lot. Okay, we're missing two. Oh, dude, that looks crazy. <laughs> that looks absolutely wild. And then we could, on the intersection, do a little stripped log. Yep. That's the move, okay? Only on the intersecting blocks. It's a little tricky. We'll we'll do the other ones 
Actually, we'll do them all from the outside, dude. That makes it so much easier. I'm like down in here struggling. Struggling when I don't need to be. Easy. Easy, easy. There we go. Dude, this is cool. Yo, dude, what did I build? These look like crosses almost. You know, go going with the going with the medieval theme, the fantasy theme. Okay. Yo. Dude. <laughs> it's almost a little too much, but we're on we're on the edge of it being a little too much. And then we gotta copy the same thing. No, I'm just kidding. We're we're not gonna do it there. Now the front of this thing, um, yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna do that. We'll, we'll we'll put like some stairs there or something. I'm trying to think like what more. Obviously not for that, but like what more can we do to make the inside have more texture? Hmm. Whoa! Yo, let's go. Okay. Okay, and he cooks. And he cooks. Now, I don't know if we're going to put those on the inside or not. I think the outside is good enough. Yo, that looks so nice, dude. I don't know one to compliment myself a whole lot or, you know, brag, but this is a pretty freaking cool looking, pretty cool looking build. Okay, so the inside was where we were going to do the crystal. Um, no, I don't know what that means. I'll be completely straight up with you. I, I was going to save the whole lightning rod uh, progression with these and that, but I kind of got carried away a little bit in the middle. And to be honest with you, I don't think I left any, I don't think I left any of these granite blocks. Hmm. I can still do the crystal in the middle, but it's going to be a little bit different than what I had planned, which is fine. Sometimes things don't always go according to plan. So let's take water. Hop up here. And like, I want this thing to start up a little bit higher. Like maybe like starting right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one, two lightning rods. Fence is tricky, isn't it? I can use this, do two fence here, okay, and then hop up, and then, ugh. I guess technically do three fence, and then go out one, out one, out one, out one. Up, 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 up. <laughs> this is gonna be, this is gonna be fun to remember what I did to, uh, to copy it. Oh. To copy it on the top. Might be a little bit difficult. This is so weird to build. <laughs> this is so weird to build. It's so out of my wheelhouse. I'm usually a very uh, vanilla style builder. Okay, this is not my uh, not my normal thing. Ugh. That's so. Ugh. I feel like I'm gonna fall at any second. Okay, then we'll do three here. Okay, and then the crystal is gonna be kind of in the middle. Where it's just kind of floating. Uh, and it needs to go down a block, too. Okay, then I can use water to get up here. Yes, I can. Okay. And then we just need to copy the whole thing. I think this is, you know, just two fences here. <laughs> just copy the whole thing inverted. Oh, no, and I have to sleep. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. We can, we can MLG that. That was, like, the most important MLG. If I didn't do that, I should... If I didn't do that, I, I I I should have put some water up there. I shouldn't have done that. It's gonna be hard to get back up. Not hard, but it's gonna take a little bit to get back up there. Okay, let's sleep. Okay. He cooketh, and he sleepeth. Now I have to buildeth up there with the uh, leafeths. Okay. And we need we need we need to break this. This is. This is a remnant of a time long past, aka like an hour ago. Get 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 out of here. Get out of here, you stupid blocks. I don't love you anymore. Um, making the blocks cry. 
So this <laughs> a little bit tricky. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit scared of, of what this is gonna end up looking like. But if we if we do it correct, I'm I'm building with the weirdest blocks. I'm like building with cherry blossom and amethyst and like cobblestone. Like what what are these array of blocks that I have chosen to build with? Okay. I don't know, okay? I'm gonna look at it, but I don't know. From the ground, I just don't know. Do I, did I just like forget to put, did I just like forget a block or something? I surely didn't just forget. How, how could I have even done that? How could I have even done that? Okay, we're just gonna, just because I know I'm gonna wanna get up here again anyways. Yes, we're, yes, I know, I know, okay, I know. The best scaffolding material. No, I didn't forget. I don't think those will connect on the upside down, will they? How did I forget that? Okay, so it's two and then three. And then they connect, it goes down one and then three lightning rods. You know what? No. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trust my memory on that. I'm gonna take a picture on my phone. I can pull up my phone right here. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna pull up said picture. And then I'm going to place it where I will stay up, like right there. Okay, it's staying up. Okay. And then we're going to go up. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, so it goes two, right? And then... So two protruding up, and then... Inside one, inside one, inside one, inside one. One, two, one, two. But it's not just two. It's three total. Okay. And then they connect and then they go to one and then it's three lightning rods. One, two, three. I'm pretty sure that this is even now. I'm like 90, 96. We'll go with that. 96% sure. Let's unveil it here. Yes, it is. It is even. No, it's not even. How is it not? Where did I? Oh, did I put three in the middle? Oh, I just put, I didn't put an amethyst in the right spot. Cause yeah, this is even. It's just, it doesn't, this, this isn't even. This, this being here, this needs to go below it. Which might be a little bit. No, oh, that turned out to be fine. Okay, cool. The whole thing's even. I have this. This will make my job easier. Why was I not using that the whole time? Aha, silly me. I bested myself once again. So now you look at this thing and it looks like a proper... What is this? A magnificent triumph to... That's such a tiny crystal. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like something surrounded by this should be like massive, but... It's 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 something that we haven't done before. Okay, I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dog on myself and be like ah, that's so small. It is pretty small. It is pretty small. Okay, so for floor in here, I am gonna go with bamboo, I think, and not not the kind of bamboo you're thinking of. Not the kind of bamboo you're thinking of. Or we could go with copper. We could go with copper, but the problem is, is eventually it will you know start to well do its thing and turn green but to be fair with you i think that's okay i i think i think that's okay i think that's okay so we'll, we'll go in here and we'll take some copper blocks wow we can make 35 copper blocks we're rich we're rich can you make those into more that gives you four that's not more at all so we're not using copper blocks oh 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 wait i know someone's gonna yell at me wait Aha. Uh -huh. So you can't make these into stairs, but you can make these into stairs. Or slabs, sorry. Now we have 60. Is that enough? It's enough for like here to there. That's about 60. So no, we're not doing copper. Jerry Wood Blanks! Jerry Wood Blanks, why did I not think of that earlier? And we don't even have to make them into slabs and have some half floor. We could do a normal floor. Aha, okay. 
Things are heating up. Things are heating up here at the, the Neo Cubist channel. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed. I don't want you to miss out on any more hot new content from the Neo Cubist. Live here on 96.3 Neo FM. 96.9. <laughs> Neo FM. Let's go. Yes, so we will do cherry wood like that. So I'm going to do that on every level. I'm not going to painstakingly make you watch me do that. Okay, so I'd say this is going pretty well. I think I'm going to take out the middle here, and I'm going to just do the enchantment table on this level. Because it was a pattern. Oh, no, it's got to be done right when I want to start recording. It does look very nice, though. With all the cherry wood, I think it's turning out pretty dang well. And I do want this to be cherry wood. I want to remember that the stairs are going to be on these blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and just take these out. That way I know that. So we may have to bring everything one block back. Not a big deal. Not going to sweat the little stuff. I am letting mobs spawn. Please do not walk over to me, Mr. Mob. I hear something walking. What is that? Please be another horse and not a creeper. I cannot be bothered to build that again. What is that? It's so complicated. Uh, but yes, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it down to this layer because this, yeah, the cave is right down there. This is just honestly a little bit too small at the very bottom, and we'll figure out a way to make it fit. We'll figure out a way to make it fit because yeah, it just it just looked kind of weird being so like tiny at the bottom. Anyways, I didn't really ever. I, I, I was never really feeling that. Did, didn't look great. So, if, it, if I don't like it, I'm just gonna... Oh, I don't have any cherry locks. I'll be back. There we go. Much better. I have decided that I am gonna use chiseled bookshelves. Um, it's gonna look a lot cooler if we... It's just kind of... The bookshelves are just sporadically placed... Um, as opposed to just being kind of strewn about randomly. Um, and we could plus, we could start them in the staircase and that would be super cool. Which, I mean, that's not something we can only do if we use chiseled ones. But I just thought of that. So, we'll, we'll do that. Probably just going to use cherry stairs. I don't really see... I guess we need to bring this one block back, actually, if we're going to do that. I know, I know. Changing my mind, like, ten times. But it's going to be worth it. So there will be stairs there. Okay. And then the same goes for in here. Copy the pattern. Uh... Yeah. We can put chiseled, chiseled stuff there. Okay. Uh, what kind of stairs? Probably, probably cherry wood because everything else is cherry wood on the floor. That would make sense. That would make sense. The easiest thing we can do is just extend. You know what? Thank God there's no mobs that are one by one. Also, what did I do? Um. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so this this block will have to be filled in, I think, and this has to go down. Easy enough of a fix. Well, to be honest with you, this is going to be one block longer, so we just need to take this out entirely. We need to get our act together, man. Get your act together, boy. Sounds like a, a mad southern father. Very angry with his son, who didn't want to play baseball because he doesn't like it. And he cannot stand this. No, no, no. He cannot stand the fact his own son won't play baseball. Basketball? America's sport? <laughs> Is it America's sport? I don't know. Also, I don't know what to do. I guess we just put this here and, and we just we just go like a we just boom. The fact that there's so many different materials absolutely just bugs me. Like, like as far as like the dirt goes, I need to just go grab some more bamboo. My inventory, I don't need any of that. Um Did I almost use all my bamboo? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, but it's kind of... Well, it is kind of surprising. Uh, my, my question was... Oh, there's a half slap. My question was, I don't know what to do, like, right here. Because I can't... That seems to do just fine. 
No, I middle clicked on that, but we don't have any? Okay, I was gonna say, we don't have any of those? We had so many. Okay, so now what we get to do is put up our inventory because we don't need, okay, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> so we started off with how, how many chests was it again? How many chests was it again? Two, we started off with one inventory, two double chests, now we almost have a third. That's crazy. Okay, so chiseled bookshelves. We just need a ton of wood, which I think we've come to the right spot with. They're insanely expensive, so I don't think we're going to have enough, but we can attempt. Like, for example, how many stacks does that make? It makes a lot. Okay. So chiseled bookshelves. That's 64. It took that much wood. Ooh, okay, okay. I mean, we're gonna need all this into planks at some point anyways. Oh, wow. That is one way to use all of the wood. Oh, th that entire forest turned into this many blocks. And I don't think it's enough. Um, boom. And the other side will just be like blank, boom. And then we get to pick one side that has two. That side will have two, that side will have one. And then obviously on this side, they're all facing towards you. We'll figure out lighting later. Uh, we'll probably do like some lanterns, you know, hanging off or something. Maybe that's, maybe that's what will be on the inside is like a fence, a cherry fence probably. And then we can, we can get, we can get something cooking literally. Hold on. Just need two. Just dos, please. Okay, nine won't even be enough for one. We have a bunch of iron in there, okay. Take those out, okay, craft those. Boom, 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 boom. Probably still have some fence left over. I mean, we have to. Oh, um, now I don't know. I don't know if this will work. I would assume it would work, but hold on. Let me just like test. So if we were to like take this, this, and then this. Aha! Beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, now, I would need this to be at night to like know if it's actually working. Um, and it, it's gonna be a little bit low bearing. Well, that's not low bearing if they're hanging right there. That's actually perfect. That's not right. Okay, so I'll place all these. I'm not going to make you watch me do it, but that's kind of the general gist. I think that looks beautiful, man. I mean, that's that texture is unreal. The fact that you can do... The fact that you can do... A lightning rod under a fence and do... Oh, dude, that's so nice. Why have I not used these before? So I found my new favorite block, the, the the lightning rod, allows you to make some pretty cool stuff. Apparent, apparently, every time I say apparently, I think of the apparently kid. Is anyone else s like that? Like I said, I'm not gonna make you watch it. Then again, you're, you're this far into this video. I mean, you're gonna wanna watch the nitty gritty stuff. I don't know how you guys even do this. I, I have watched some very long videos before. They're more like like exploring abandoned cities or something. And so like it's just cool to like experience it. But some people say they put me on while they're working or, or or some people just like put me on and they just love watching me. I don't get that. That seems like hard to do. Cause I I do do I do do exciting stuff sometimes, but ugh, like right now, is this exciting? I mean, we're getting the build done we've been working on for the past hour so pretty exciting um <laughs> I, I i laugh like that because i'm pretty sure how do we want to do lighting in here that's too low I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll probably just end up doing lanterns, but see, that's the thing too, is that fence will connect. That'll look kind of ugly, but look at this. At least we have this initial ring lit up and like, dude, that's beautiful. 
So now we get to break out all of the blocks. This is what this is the annoying part is that there's dirt sometimes and I have to like switch between the tools. I have to use my scroll wheel. Boo hoo. It's so hard to scroll. See what I mean? I scrolled and I broke too many blocks. It's so hard. It's so hard. Okay. I'll put all the chiseled bookshelves in. I think you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. It's really, really simple. I'm, I'm just going to go around the whole thing and I'm going to place chiseled bookshelves like so. And then wherever in the middle like this, I'll just start facing them the other way. Sound good? Sound good. Nice. Okay, and I think these will just be like solid bookshelves because I mean, <clears throat> I guess we, we probably want to figure that out, but yeah, that'll look cool. A nice grand library. Um, tricky part being enchanting table right here. Books ideally need to be like this. So we'll kind of figure that out in another episode. I am done recording today because a lot of this stuff, you got to realize I've, I spent like an hour traveling off camera to do a few things. Uh, well, I mean, you guys remember at the beginning of the episode. I farm trees. I dug the hole. I, I, it just, just a little worn out. I'm like bored. I just need to, you know, take, take a little bit to recharge. I do very much so appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This, this has been, this has been an absolute blast to build, and I can't believe I built something like this. We may end up taking the crystal out. I don't know, but thank you guys for watching episode. I'm gonna check on my phone. I'm pretty sure it's episode eight. Like 99.99999% sure it's episode eight. Yes, it is episode eight. Thank you guys for watching episode eight. The secret code for today's episode is going to be 8451. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of today's video. Again, that's 8451. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye! Tried to get as high as I could there. Did I do good? Let me know in the comments. 85, sorry, 8451. Guess what, guys? You thought that was the end. Well, it's actually the next day. I completely slept thinking that this would be the end of the episode. No, 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 no. We need to do a few things before we can end the episode. So my voice will be a little uh, unawake. It'll wake up slowly but surely. Oh my God, my inventory. Dude, we, we, we did some stuff yesterday. I was in a mood yesterday. I'm feeling good today. I wasn't feeling bad yesterday, but I was in a mood, okay? And, uh, yeah. So, a few things. Namely, I want to get looting so that we can go and hopefully, hopefully, get enough leather. Um, I have I have a few spots where I actually want to put, like, bookshelves themselves. And I think we have Silk Touch on at least one of these tools. Yeah, so we have it on the shovel so we can break our bookshelves with the shovel. But I'm going to get a lectern. And I'm going to go see if I can get looting three from one of these bad boys, which means we need to bring a book and some emeralds. I mean, I know we can and we will like we'll just sit there until we get looting three um, and then we can put that on our sword and all will be well or, or we can put it on our axe. Either one. Um, so I don't know where where would I put that? OK, so I put the bookshelves over here. I put the book right here. Um, feather falling three. That's what we need. Oh, <laughs> ha! There was my alarm to get up. Let me uh, let me turn off my alarm so they don't bug me. I got up at like seven a.m. today, like seven thirty-ish, because I went to bed at a reasonable time, which for me is pretty cool. I don't usually go to bed at reasonable times. I went to bed at like, gosh, I don't know, like uh, nine thirty, probably about about nine thirty. How do you make a lectern? Is it? Oh, just oh, okay. We have a lectern. We'll make two just for good measure. We're gonna need the book to trade, and then we need emeralds. Look at me. Look at me. And I'm not. I'm not gonna keep anything we don't need. Not in a rush. Not in a rush. I feel like I was in a rush yesterday, and I don't know why. Because <laughs> like, I don't have to get a video out at any point. There's no like schedule. So I'm not sure. But sometimes mentally, you'll put yourself in a in a tizzy. And you can't get out of it. And I felt like I had to get it all done. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have tried to do that whole thing in one episode. That was just not smart. But we did, for the most part. So preferably I'd like to find a villager that doesn't have a job already. 
Um, but I know that's not necessarily the easiest thing to do. Um, this Is there a villager in here at the moment? Yes, there is. Okay, I am going to trap you. No, 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 no. Okay, well, we're not going to trap that one. <laughs> is there one in here, perhaps? You know, it would be nice to get the actual librarian. There's no door here. Ah, I see. So the zombies invaded these guys, took their door, and uh, skedaddled. Okay, well, do you have a crafting table? Nope. I'm going to make you one, and I'm going to make you a new door. <laughs> we got to protect the villagers that are here. I mean, we can't... I know it's not the matching door, but it's okay. I, I really do, like, like I am honest. I'm, I'm going to convert this to be, like, a normal... Or, not a normal. I'm going to convert this to be a cherry wood village. That would be super cool. Just got to find a villager who's in their house. <laughs> okay. Your job block isn't in here. What kind of what kind of villager are you? A fisherman. Well, lucky for you, I actually know a fisherman. I actually know of a fisherman's uh, job block that I can steal. The barrel. No more. No more fishermen. Hopefully there isn't two. Hopefully there isn't two. If there is, then I'm confused. I most certainly have not traded with you before, my good sir. Where? Wh I'm gonna follow you. Where? Where are you finding this uh, job block at? Maybe they have to go near it and be like, "Oh no, it's gone." Because that was definitely the fisherman one. I remember messing up with those before. You still have your job, but I don't know how. There's no... Is there another barrel? No, it's even in my inventory. You should be unemployed, my good sir. Aha! This... No, no, no. Come over here. Come over here. Uh... Oh, another unemployed guy. Okay, well, come over here. Yes, over here. This is the equivalent of holding some wheat. Putting a job block down. Yes, you see it. You see it. Come on. Almost had it. <laughs> you gotta come in here. Here we go. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. The second he comes in here. Sharpness three. Not what I want. Okay, so you guys know the drill. I'm not gonna make you watch it. Let's see what the next one is. Luck of this seed too. Okay, let's see what the next one is. It might be something good. It might be something good. We're heating up. Nope. I'll be completely honest, it's been over 30 minutes, and I know that, because I've been watching a YouTube video. I've seen mending three times, and it's been so painful. I don't know if we'll use mending, maybe later, but... No looting! Even... I'll see, I mean, look, mending for 10 emeralds, like, that's the best deal you can get! I could get five books of mending, but no! We're looking for looting three! And it's a rainy day. Oh, a rainy day. Yes, me and you in a dark room. You can see I modified it, so he'd quit running from me. He kept running from me. He's like, I don't like this. I think I figured out what you're doing, good sir. Feather falling four. I feel like if I record, it'll happen. Fortune three. It's so painful. Like, there's such good stuff. There's such good stuff appearing that I would usually keep in, like, a trading hall. But no, no, no. No loyal loyalty. No. Well, there's loyalty. No looting three. Looting. D another ten minutes. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, looting. One, two, three, four, looting. One, two, three, four, five, looting. Dude, it's gotta work. One, two, three, four, five, six, looting? Bruh. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, looting. Bruh. I'm, I'm, it's the worst trade I've ever seen looting two for 22 emeralds. But like, I gotta be completely honest. I've been at this for like over an hour. Like literally over an hour. <laughs> it's been, oh, uh, it's really, it's, it's not the best trade in the world, but it's what we got. It's, it's a terrible deal. Like, if anything, it's a terrible deal, and I know I messed up the roof. It's okay. We'll just... You have freedom now. 
Oh my gosh. There was a lightning storm and it was striking our crystal, which was pretty cool. Now, I am curious as to how much it's going to cost to combine these books and to add them to my sword. I can imagine it's not going to be more than, you know, and can you put looting on an axe? I'm pretty sure you could, but since I use this for mining wood, I'm pretty sure I want to put it on my sword because this thing will go out quicker. So let's go take out our... Oh, wait, did we even... Well, yes, we did build an anvil. I do remember that. We did build an anvil because we combined those shovels. Okay, how much do you cost to combine? Six. How much to put on the sword? Seven. Okay, not bad. <laughs> That's all I wanted this whole time. Oh. Oh. That was, that was a journey. I w I'm still kind of flabbergasted because... It's not like that's... I thought mending was more rare, but I found mending, like, at least 10 times. 10, 15 times, at least. I think I'm a little conservative on that. All our wheat has grown. We will spread it out, but we don't really, like, need any wheat right now. And as needed, we will farm it. Because it does take, like, 10 minutes to plant all of it back, which isn't a bad problem. We just have a lot. And, uh, you know, it's better than having too little. So this should triple the amount of leather that we're getting. Should make our job just so, so much easier. Because... I felt bad before, whenever we were, you know, killing them, we wouldn't get very many um, pieces of leather. And this will make it a lot less uh, painful to the population, to put it that way. See, like, that was four pieces of leather. Oh, yeah, dude. I don't want to kill them over here, because I, I, I'm trying to kill them where they're overpopulated. Oh, so let's see, how is Cow Hill looking today? After uh, after we had to get some bookshelves. Is there still a lot of you up here? <laughs> yeah, there's still a few. Yeah, there's still a few. Just a couple. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's so much quicker. Okay, well, I'm going to kill a bunch of cows and get a bunch of leather. I will come back. I'm pretty quick with it. Already 29 pieces. Oh yeah, so much better. Okay. <laughs> I got what I came for. Uh, that's a lot of books, and that's a lot of steak, and that's basically exactly what I needed. I didn't need the steak. I didn't need the steak, but I did need the books, because that is a welcomed addition to our library. We're gonna need a lot of bookcases. I, you know, I want to make some of them into books, some of them into bookcases, just so that we can actually, like... Te now, technically, you can store enchanted books, which I don't see why we'd ever get a ton of enchanted books, but if we ever did... We can store enchanted books inside those bookcases, which is really cool. But when do you have, like, an excess of enchanted books? I'm trying to remember, like, maybe from the end or from, you know, Woodland Mansions, if you find some some of those or, or whatever. But I don't know. I'm just going to put blank books in them for now. And then if we need books, we could just kind of pull them out when necessary. Um, I believe all of our paper is still up at the house. And uh, it's three stacks of paper and one stack of leather to get a stack of books. So it is quite the expensive thing to craft, and I don't know how many a stack of uh, books will fill it up, but I'm not going to fill up each bookshelf. It's going to be kind of a sparing, uh, something I'm doing sparingly. I guess these go in here, which I don't know why. I guess the steak, yep, you go in here. Okay. How much paper? Well, I say that, but then we have two little extras, so maybe you get more than I'm saying. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Um... Sorry, I'm still a little bit slow. You'd think I've had, you know, an hour of, you know, going through uh, enchants to wake up, but it doesn't really wake you up a whole lot. Oh, that's a lot of bookshelves. Oh, that's a lot of bookshelves. I want to make, I want to make at least a stack into, uh, sure. Well, no, we don't, mm, sure, because I don't know if I'll ever end up using that wood or not. I, I think I might, but I don't know what for. Well, we'll go ahead and make... See, but that's that's a lot. That's a lot. We'll make that many into bookshelves. So I'll have 25 extra bookshelves. Which, we already have a bunch over here. And I think there was even more... No, we had those with us. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll continue to actually make books as we get... We just need a little bit more paper. Okay. So that means we have how many books? Almost three stacks. So now I'm going to disassemble this stuff because this is not where we want it at all. 
Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to break this with my shovel since I have silk touch on it. So I'll come back in a second. And now we have 45 bookshelves, which is a lot more of a formidable amount. We can make 26 more books. We've just got to grow, go grab some of our growing bamboo or sugar cane. It used to be called reeds. I don't know if you guys knew that back in the alpha days. And then at some point in the beta, they changed it to sugarcane. I'm really not sure why or why you make sugarcane into a uh, paper. <laughs> it doesn't quite make sense, but you know what? It's what they did. It's what they did. Because, you, you know, they make paper from wood, from actually making, a, it's from wood pulp. And so I'm not sure how it came to be the way it is now, but it, it is the way it is now. Oh yeah, we had another stack of books I completely forgot about. So, uh, we will want a path to our enchantment thing. We'll, we'll, we'll save that for another episode. I mean, I don't need to record a whole episode's worth of stuff. I just wanted to get this done. The enchantment table and the books and kind of finalizing the thing. Because I have currently no way to get down <laughs> to our enchantment table. There's there's no way. You just have to kind of use a water bucket. And, uh, you know, it's not the, it's not the greatest method. Uh, one thing I did want to do was on the corners where you can kind of see the, you know, like those. No, 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 no. I, it's still so weird to me. You just don't get it back. I don't know. I don't quite know why that's the case. I, I guess it's just a, okay. <laughs> I will never understand why they do some things, but maybe there's a reason. If you know there's a good reason why, let me know in the comments. Cause I am, I am genuinely curious. Like what, what is the purpose? Okay. Okay. And then I think down here on this layer, there's a few on corners that we want to do that to. Uh, yeah. See, all of these I kind of want to be... We'll have to make some more bookshelves, but that's okay. Just because I, I don't like seeing the side. I think the side looks kind of ugly. So we're just going to replace with bookshelves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're going to need to make some more bookshelves like right, right now. Still have a crafting table. It's perfect. I don't know how many of these we need. We'll make 10 more. Well, actually, I know we're going to need more than that. We need at least 12. Ah, uh, we can only make that many more. Oh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I forgot we have to make the actual enchantment table. And ideally, you'd want a bunch of books on there. And I think this looks really good anyways. And once we start, you know, like going around and uh, just kind of plopping books in randomly, you see what I mean? I don't want to like, you know, put too many. So you could take the books back out. I, I mean, is that why when you break it, they don't give you any? Because you can take the books back out? Oh, see, that doesn't make any sense. Why would it be like that? Because you can take the books out. See? I think it looks really cool, okay? Personally, I think it looks really cool. Um, I don't want to just do a ladder, but there's no room for a staircase. Now, we could do some sort of, like, water fountain coming down from... No, that would look a little weird. It's cool, because... Oh, are, are the books always the same in the same position? So this one's pink always. I guess that makes sense. If they were random, that'd be cool too. But like, that's asking a lot. <laughs> that's asking a lot. Uh, I guess that one is a little bit too many. We don't want to like use all the books. We have a few books left over, but we can always go get more cows. We just got to breed them some more because we're, we're running pretty low. Okay, so this is all the books we have left. We gotta be mindful of that. That's good. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. We need to put books in those. Oh, this looks really cool though. Yo, this is nice. Okay, and we still have enough bookshelves for the actual enchantment table. Which, by the way, I still didn't figure out how this is gonna work because the bookshelves have to go 
like without fail, they have to go at least, I know the corners can go like that and, and that takes care of some of it. But then like, how do we want, you know, the books to be, I guess like this? Is that, is that a full like 30? Oh, well, we can't see, but I would assume that's a full 30. Okay, well, we'll end up, we'll end the episode here. We did what we want. Before next episode, I will breed the cows. Oh, there's still a bed here. Nice. I will breed the cows. And then, let's see, what else will we do? Breed the cows so that we get enough leather to make more bookshelves. Um, probably get the wheat going a little bit. Sure we didn't have any, like, leather in here for some reason. We did use a lot of the wood. I, I can't believe we got all that cherry wood and we used all of it. I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of wood in here. A lot of bamboo, too, but we literally used all of it. It's just crazy to me. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!